I think I literally blacked out. <laughs> like last time that I played this game, at least for like the last hour and a half, so much happened. Okay, I say this because when I like went and edited my VOD for my VOD channel and stuff, and I was like watching back certain scenes, I'm like, I don't remember this <laughs> happening. It was mostly for the boss fight um, with Bahamut, but I remember after that boss fight, I was like, okay, Bahamut's just like a little bit above the Titan fight. All right, after rewatching it, I just, Bahamut's like way up there. The Titan's like down here. Titan, the Titan fight was still amazing, but Bahamut's like way up there in terms of boss fight. Yeah, we were in space. We literally fought on a flower, a blooming flower that represented what San Breck and like Dion's family and everything. Um, the music was amazing, guys. I've had that music on repeat for like the past two days. It was incredible. And Bahamut's just one of my favorite summons of Final Fantasy, so it was so cool. Did love kicking Kupka's ass when falling down a hole. Yeah, see, here's the thing. Like, I was, I was kind of comparing the two. I felt like the Titan fight went on for so long. It seemed never ending. I was like, oh my gosh. I remember when I was playing it, I was like, okay, when is this going to be over? But when I was playing the Bahamut boss fight, I didn't have those thoughts at all. I was just like, wow, this is amazing. This doesn't have to be over anytime soon um so i felt like i had like in retrospect i had more fun with the bahamut boss fight although during the bahamut boss fight i felt a lot of stress just because i was scared of what happened to dion and everything First time watching a Final Fantasy playthrough, I've been loving it, so much fun. And the music is incredible! I am so glad that you're enjoying it. Yeah, this is my third Final Fantasy game. They've all been amazing. I can't wait to play more of them too. Hugo had like five phases in total. Yeah, yeah. And like you only you only played as a free, right? Whereas in the Bahamut boss fight, you had there's like the advantage of playing as both Phoenix, a free, and then a free rising. So I think having that, um, what's the word? Just like having those different ways of fighting helps. Helps to not feel it as repetitive as the Titan fight. Yeah, the variety, exactly. But Blash are thinking Dion died then five minutes later, finding out he wasn't literally. Okay, here's what we're gonna do, you guys. We can still keep talking about this, but I'm just gonna make my way over to the infirmary. Just to make sure that they're the still there. <laughs> From a Final Fantasy nerd standpoint, the presence of Zeta Flare is a big deal. See, I don't know the reference for Zeta Flare. Oh, huh. look at them, they're okay. I'm gonna turn up the PS5 volume just a little bit. They're alive! Thank God. Hugo's human fight in Rosaria was really fun as well. Yeah, for sure. I, like, don't get me wrong. I loved the Hugo fight. I loved the Titan fight. The Bahamut fight was just insane. Mega Flare and Giga Flare are common Bahamut moves. Set of Flare shows up in maybe a couple games. Oh, total in the franchise. Okay. We know the person who cast Set of Flare in any game with Final Fantasy is Donald Duck in Kingdom Hearts. Donald Duck casts Zeta Flare. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my god. Uh, okay, let me let me think if there's anything else I wanted to talk about. I feel like I have so many different thoughts on like characters, who's being used, um, Ultima, blah, blah blah blah. I feel like I can't put it into words. There's just like too much 
to talk about. Obviously, I think Mr. Barney's being used. Mr. Barnabas? Mr. Barnabitch? I also had the question of whether or not there's some sort of higher being above Ultima. Like, right now we see Ultima as like the one above it all, as like the god basically. I'm like, is there someone else above him? Or is he just like the end all be all antagonist? Also, we need to go back to Harpocrates really quick. Okay. Donald Duck's actually Bahamut. Donald Duck amazes me. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just standing by their beds, Kate. It helps to get really sympathized with Dion. He deserves better. Oh, for sure. I am really wondering what the dynamic is going to be like between Clive and Dion. You know? Is a storm coming soon? I think it's really nice that Clive was able to... Kind of like... He, he saw what happened with Dion and he can, like, empathize with him. So, I don't know. I think it's gonna be really interesting when they finally get to talk with one another. Knowledge hoarded is knowledge lost. You wish to study the tomes? Okay, I wanted to look at... <sighs> I forgot what it was. This! Okay, 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 okay. Satisfied with how Clive confronted his mom, Annabella, and how she went out. Um, I feel like it's... Uh, I don't know how to think. I don't know what to think of that. Because, like, I think it would have been nice if Clive actually killed her. But, like, I feel like it wouldn't be as in character for that to happen. I'm just glad Annabella's gone. <laughs> okay. This is what I wanted to kind of talk about the lost mother crystals okay so there were eight mother crystals that ultima set in place eon's past correct there were only five five around the twins what happened to the other three did you learn everything you needed Maybe this is just a coincidence. Also, don't like confirm or deny or any of my theories, by the way. So we know Mother Crystals are connected to like ether and everything, and ether is how you like use magic. Yeah. There are eight different iconic abilities. They have to be connected to the the dominance. I don't even know if um They've talked about like the dominance connecting to the mother crystals, but I just think that's very interesting. Megan! Hi Megan, how are you? Just Beat 7 Remake won't be playing the OG because no time. Is Crisis Core must play before Rebirth comes out? I think you should play Crisis Core, but also... Actually, yeah, never mind. I think you should play Crisis Core. Guys, I think we're going to be getting Odin and Shiva. I don't know how we're going to get Shiva. That makes me scared. I feel maybe we're somehow going to like take Jill's powers to protect her from the curse. <laughs> that's like, that's the only way I want that to happen. Okay. It scares me though. Let's know. Hello, welcome in. Think you're at the last batch of side quests before finishing the game. Ninety-seven percent. Don, you think you're gonna finish tonight? Don, I wish you luck. That's so exciting. Okay, since we're here, I'm gonna upgrade my limit break. Okay, and yeah, I think that's all I wanted to talk about before we start playing. Um. We're gonna go talk to Otto. We will be doing side quests today. Y'all. 
I, th I don't think we would have gotten to the Bahamut boss fight yesterday if I didn't get locked out of these side quests on the side of my screen. So I remember I was like, okay, we're just gonna talk to Otto once and then we're gonna do the side quests. And then I talked to him and suddenly I couldn't travel anywhere. It was forcing me to go through the main quest. I was like, okay, Did you see well. <laughs> anyway, hi Otto. Skies, then. Otto, how fares the realm? The realm? Oh, she's just fine. As long as you look past the fat storms at Mother Crystals and her mm -hmm. skies are a roiling cesspit. And Gav? He's with your uncle in the Free Cities. Helping Mid with her project. Okay. Setting an owl their way the moment the winds turn foul. Still waiting on a reply, though. I hope they're okay. Do you have any good news? Well, that depends on your definition of good. All right, fine. What do you suggest we do? Oh, no, I'm just the messenger. I'll leave the scheme until those more suited to the task. Could be that Lady Vivian and Old Tomes have their own thoughts on the current state of things. Okay. Could be that they don't. It certainly can't hurt to ask. I suppose not. I was like, I don't know if I have any good news for you. All right, we can go talk to Vivian and then Harpocrates. <laughs> Hi, Subtax, welcome in. Um. Tech girl, you might finish too. Oh my gosh. Kirsty, you're like, is she gonna stop? Oh no, she <laughs> she said the fight. I feel like I had to keep going. <laughs> How is it that every one of your little excursions presages some inexplicable catastrophe? Not that you are to blame. I for don't the know, Vivian. Fate. No one could have predicted the actions of the Crown Prince. I'm sorry I couldn't save your home. My countrymen are stronger than you think. A few toppled clock towers won't break their spirits. They'll be back on their feet in no time. Hopefully. I hope so. <laughs> Look at us. Bluer than a pair of bog crabs. Tempting though it may be, sulking will not help us find a solution to this mess. You believe there's one to be found? I don't know. But I am certain we're more likely to find it if we first examine the facts. Lore time! Please explain what the hell happened. <laughs> what do you think we should do? Beneath these darkened skies, fear and confusion reign over Valisthea. Oh, the lands around the fallen Mother Crystals had already begun to wilt for want of ether. But not like this. Crystals that filled wells and fueled furnaces. Now nothing but pretty shards of rock. Wow. And those that hang from the people's necks cast nary a glimmer of light to keep the dark at bay. It is only a matter of time before the common folk convince themselves that the end of days is upon us. So... But bearers can still use their magic abilities they don't need crystals to do this but if the blight like takes over the whole land they won't be able to use magic either but i fear a right? swift end is more than we can hope for while most of the world thirsts for ether the remainder drowns in it oh. spawning akashic in droves and amidst the hordes of mindless beasts with magics as like to fail as function. Even the strongest nation would falter. Rosaria and the Iron Kingdom teeter on the brink of collapse, while the tragedy in Twinside has all but paralyzed the Holy Empire. Dalmechia fares little better. Rumor has it the ministers fled the capital after the fall of Drake's Fang, leaving their beloved Republic to crumble. Walud, meanwhile, moves in earnest. Walud. The Einheyar has been sighted off storm. Einheyar? The world, in short, 
is in chaos. It would seem our civilization was nothing but a castle of sand, to be washed away at the whim of the waves. Hmm. Cap, thank you for the two months of reaching your prime here. A castle of sand. Not my best flourish, but it seemed fitting. The reports I've received are considerably more blunt in their appraisal. Without the protection of their nations, it will fall to the people to defend themselves against those who would take what is theirs. Which is only ever going to end one way. <clears throat> Defending a farmhouse against a band of chocobo thieves is one thing. But pitchforks and palisades will do little to stall an army's advance. Should the King of Wulu deign to invade, there would be none to stop him. Hmm. None but us. None but Clive. <clears throat> hmm. Side quests are hit or miss in this game. That's what I've heard from a lot of people. I heard the end game side quests are incredible though. Oh yeah, should we look at Vivian's map? What will it be today? Allow me to educate you. I have the details here. The Grand Cast. Um, guys, what happened? I hope Yota is okay. We battled. We saved Dion. Wow. Oh my god, not the slays and executes here. Also, guys, Terrence. Here's here's what I need to happen, all right? We need Goots. We need Goots to be alive, and Goots needs to bring back both Yota and Terrence to the hideaway, okay? Where's Goots? Right here? Because I don't think we came back with Goots. Study it well, Clive. Okay. Terrence was Very Ultima good. this whole time, though. Um, never hear anyone say chocobos like she does. Yeah, chocobos. <laughs> I like it. I like how they say that. Um, the magenta tint from the overcast sky in this shop makes outdoors unpleasant to look at. It does. You know what? It reminds me of, um,. <laughs> the bad air quality that we've had lately. <laughs> I'm like, are we okay? Let me guess. Are we out here? You're here about the skies. I am. Is there anything you don't know, Lawsman? <laughs> it doesn't take a court astrologer to argue the obvious. As for what has disturbed the heavens, that, I believe, is a question the fallen might be better placed to answer than the I. The fallen? And on the sixth day, did the gods tear the sun from the firmament, visiting darkness upon their prideful sons and daughters? But I dare say you remember your childhood lessons on the sins of Zemeckis only too well. You think they're connected? Mm. That Ultima was one of the gods responsible? Well, he has certainly exhibited powers that we mortals would associate with the divine. He did do this. There is nothing divine about him. Ooh. <sighs> but he wouldn't be the first god of whom that could be said, now would he? <sighs> Yet for all the fairy tales that tell of the sins, there is almost nothing in the way of actual historical accounts. Had I the journal of Moss the Chronicler, I may have been able to tell you more, but alas, I fear all remaining copies have been lost to time. You will forgive me, I hope. Certainly not. Because there is nothing to forgive. Even without this journal, you've provided us ample wisdom. And we will always be grateful for it. Clive is so nice. Perhaps Otto will be more inclined to share his thoughts when he hears what the others had to say. Yeah. 
Hey Aspen. Wait, eyeshadow. Um, okay, so I have on a Morphe eyeshadow from a Morphe palette. And then I also have um what brand is it? It's elf. It's like elf silver liquid um eyeshadow glitter. You wanna know more about the fall? Me too, Dan. Uh, that's how we always pronounced it before it was first vocalized. And 10, really? I didn't know that. Hi, Jill. Oops. Clive, we have a problem. What's this problem? Only one. That would be a first. <laughs> it would. Actually, there are three. Oh. We had as many owls arrive while you were at the shelves. Martha's got a Kashyyyk out of gates, and talk of monsters roaming the hills outside of Northreach has put the wind up Isabel and her lot. And don't forget Dalimhill. Lubor says the village was raided by bandits. When it rains, it fucking pours. Yeah. The curse breakers are spread thin, taking stock of the damage in the Dominion. And even if I could get word to all of them, I doubt they'd get here in time to make any real difference. Which means there's only two people who can. Jill and I. Let them know we're on our way. Man. Always helping people out. <laughs> um. Now I'm locked out of side quests. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> okay, wait, what side quest am I locked out of? Okay, it's fine. We'll just we'll just do this. Lamb, I have not done a makeup video, no. I used to do my makeup on stream before, but that was a long time ago. Yeah, just a casual jump. Oh This man's gonna die if we don't get him to a healer. But all our beds are taken. This music is so ominous. I don't like it. Ori, hi. Martha. It's good to see you. And you, Clive. Jill? Otto said you've been attacked by a Kashik. What exactly happened here? Those skies are what happened. Not long after they fell dark. We had our first visit. There were hundreds of them. Tried to storm the hill. Only a handful made it up here, but that was more than enough. The rest are still down there now. And while we have a few willing fighters holding them back, they're sorely outnumbered. What do you think, Clive? That we join the fight. I thought you'd never offer. <gasps> now, where I need you is the Fallen Gate. That's where the fighting is fiercest. I can try out Bahamut's Let the men know abilities. You come to help. Something tells me they'll be pleased to see you. We're on our way. All right, the flames of war. Um. Do you think there were as many as Martha says? More. This is scary. So before we go, let me look at my abilities. Um, uh, Master, thank you so much for the two months. Or three months, and raising your prime. Ever doing well? Okay. We're gonna try out... Bahamut's abilities. I don't know what I want to replace. I guess we'll, we'll, we will replace Titan right now. Um, okay, Impulse. Summon multiple spheres of light that upon striking an enemy deal it continuous damage. There's also Flare Breath. Ooh, I like that one. I guess we'll just try them both. Okay. Hi, Mikester. Yeah, yeah, we fought Bahamut on Monday. It was so intense. It was just like... You don't think they've abandoned us, do you? Them not. 
It was just like an hour and a half of craziness. Is this blocked off? Oh no. Barricades we've set up around the town won't hold the Akashic back for long. Might buy us a few moments to say our last farewell. This is so sad. Come on, little Let's chocobo. Go. Let's go. Rotian, hi. <laughs> Thank you for the 18 months. Oh my gosh. Have a couple of Bahamut abilities in rotation. You'll use Wings of Light in the all for Bahamut. Yeah, I'm nervous for how I'm gonna like them. I'm gonna force myself to like them though because I just really like Bahamut. <laughs> Clive, wounded. Ooh. We deal with the Akashic first. Get out of here. Okay. Uh, what was that? Okay, that's kind of slow. Do this. What the hell? Um, this is weird. I, I don't understand that. I need to read about those more. These men don't have the look of hired swords. If you've come to rob this place... You are mistaken, my Lord Rosfield. We're here by Madame Martha's leave. How do you know my name? Forgive me, my Lord. There wasn't time for introductions. Oh! We're with the Guardians with, of the Flame. What's his face? Wade's men. Yeah, Wade. But how did you come to be here? Is Wade okay? Where is your commander? So Wade left earlier with a scouting party to find out where the Akashic were coming from. Did he? Take your wounded back to the inn. Martha will see you're looked after. We'll join you in on. Okay. And to think you took them for thieves. A fine reward for holding off the horde, that is. When did Wade and his men arrive? Not long after Rosalith fell. The Guardians asked me to shelter some of them that had lost their homes. They were making ready to leave just as the skies turned, and we agreed it was best we stuck together. Martha! Trouble! The scouting party's almost at the lift, but they got a pack of Akashic snapping at their heels, and they got wounded with them! They're not gonna make it! Damn it all. We can go help. We'll worry about them, Martha. You look after everyone here. If any can still fight, send them to the lift. This is just bad. Well, you two be safe now. I just want to do side quests today, you guys. <laughs> I just wanted to do side quests. Also, thanks for the follows, everyone. Hi, Katie. Chavi, hi, thank you for the nine months. Welcome in. How are you? Okay, before we do this, let me read about this again. Okay. 
Begin casting Mega Flare and press circle to execute. The length of the casting determines the potency of the spell. Uh... Spell cannot be executed until a cast engage has reached at least level one. That takes a long time. Spell effect and potency increases, yes. R1 can be used to dodge attacks, so I can still dodge when I'm in this. Okay. Precisely dodging an attack is called a Mega Flare Dodge. Executing. Oh! Executing a Mega Flare Dodge rapidly fills the cast engage. Okay. Okay. I get it. So it's lots of waiting, lots of dodging. And then we have Flare Breath. And then Impulse. I do like Impulse. Okay, what is this one? Satellite. Summon multiple light aspected familiars that attack an enemy on which Clyde uses magic. You can use this while casting Mega Flare. Okay, so let me get satellite. Maybe I'll put satellite on and see how I like it. I like impulse. I think I'll get rid of flare breath. Although Flare Breath may be good for, like, AoE stuff. And I don't have a lot of that right now. Um, <clears throat> Probably better when you have big enemies, because hordes, you have a hard time noticing when they're attacking. Yeah, yeah, very true. Charge is also faster. Oh, if you're standing still versus moving around. Okay. Fear she didn't like it, too much waiting. Um... What's my Twitch? You're here. <laughs> you're you're at my Twitch channel right now. Hello. Um Moogle you're crocheting is turning out to be life size. Katie, I love it. <laughs> That's my, cute. My brothers. Okay, let's try this. My dogs. Alone. I'm scared. Wade? Wade, it's been so long. Squire, I need you to get those who can still walk up the lift to Martha's. But what about... I didn't ask, Oscar. Sir. Sir Wade. Lord Rossfield. If you aren't a sight for sore eyes... <laughs> Martha seemed to think you might need some help. Yeah, he's beautiful. And by the looks of it. We thought we could sneak by them. But we didn't know there would be so many. How could we have? Behind you! What the hell? Look at this Damn little it. guy. We need to get the injured to safety. <laughs> Do you think we can hold them off? We can certainly try. Are you with us, Sir Wade? Let's go, Wade. Always. Always. Then let's do our duty. Oh, I love them. Okay, okay, okay. So, come on, come on, hit me. Oh. <laughs> okay. Let's try. Nice. Satellite? What? Oh, that's my Mega Flare! I was like, what's going on? I don't 
don't have potions, you guys. Okay, that's good. I think I'm gonna die here. I don't know how I feel about them. The the abilities, I mean. Maybe if I like mastered them. Is anyone hurt? I don't think so. And yet again, you've pulled me from the flames. It's just a pity I keep walking into them. <laughs> you've never been one to shy away from danger, Sir Wade. Like any shield worthy of the name. I see you're all in one piece. Martha. Hey, Martha! Is something wrong? The lookout saw smoke coming from down Eastpool Way. Too thick to be a hearth. A second horde? Feel like finishing the job? Always. We Jill got make for Eastpool. You'll need to move the injured without us. Don't you worry about them. The moment my men are safe, I'll follow. Good luck. Man, too much waiting with the abilities. Hate them aside from the alt. Yeah, <sighs> that makes me really sad. Also, thank you for the files. Hi, Pro Tricky. Welcome in. So this is the alt, the Giga Flare. Oof. I love that. Okay, I'm gonna reset satellite. That's not my favorite. I'm like, I'm thinking about flare breath. Like, flare breath was okay. I kind of like impulse, not gonna lie. Satellite's super good upgraded. Let me look at the details again. Increases the number of satellites? Oh, so you have more, um, like more little magic balls. Um, love Impulse and Giga Flare. Yeah. 
impulses monkey to watch the enemies twirling around. <laughs> Couldn't live without Titan abilities? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I think what I would like to do is I would like to master some of the Titan abilities to put on Garuda's wheel. Um, because I love Deadly Embrace. I should actually master this, but... Um, like, I love being able to take down half-staggered enemies with Deadly Embrace. I don't want to get rid of that, but I don't really like Gouge or um, Rook's Gambit. So I think I'd probably put some of the Titan abilities in the Wind Sphere. Um, I'm going to upgrade Impulse. Can I get anything back? Okay, let's reset ignition. Okay. Don't you have a new Titan? Haven't used Titan's abilities much at all. Think it's cool to see. Yeah, the riding builds, I agree. I agree. Ooh. Satellite and Impulse are definitely something that synergize well with Mega Flare charging. Don't see a use for them. Yeah, yeah, if you don't use Mega Flare. Exactly. Like, yeah, using Satellite was nice when you are charging up for that, but I feel like it's a lot of thinking. <laughs> A lot of thinking, making sure you Black actually dogs. like activate satellite before you use Mega Flare. Oh no. The drums in the background, you guys, it's so dark. Fiends try to climb the walls here, too. Get me back out there. Founder knows where they're gonna show their ugly faces next. Jesus. Oh, okay. Okay, before we go, I need potions. Otherwise, I'm going to die. <laughs> um, working on Mega Flare right now. I need 6k for the final level. Jesus Christ. This man's gonna die if we don't get him to Oh, you're, you're talking about the alt name? Okay. I forgot which one that is. Anything catch your eye? Watch your blight. There you go. And that. Thanks very much. And we much. will take two elixirs. That all, is it? Thank you. Let's make sure we save. Akashic attacked us out of the blue, and there's no telling when they might be back. So scary. Um, it's more useful in boss fights, especially, yeah, Mega Flare. Okay, let's heal. Let's just I use uh, Elixir. Look at those goblins! Front row. They're headed okay. for the rest. Oh. We'll have to slow them down. Martha and the others won't be ready. Hit me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ah! 
The black screen scared me. Uh oh. Apologies, my lord. Did I miss anything? Wade, you better be careful. Only the first round, so Wade. Shall we? Okay. Uh, name's Jinx. Thank you so much for the tier one sub. Welcome in. Okay. kind of crazy mega flare is kind of crazy when you get it charged up hmm because i like was not doing anything at the end there <laughs> do you see that <laughs> do you see any more no i think that was the last of them but it won't be long before the next lot arrive. Then we make for Martha's while we can. Man, so much fighting. <laughs> you have to fight Mike Wazowski, yeah. <laughs> like aerial blast and oh lightning rod. What did you find out there? The same as Sir Wade. Scores of Akashic. Well, wherever they came from, they're gone now. Our lookouts say the lowlands are clear. Hopefully we'll have enough time to lick our wounds. How many of your men were injured? A oh, damn sight less than if you hadn't turned up. Thank you. It was a hard-fought victory. But as long as the skies remain dark, I fear the Akashic's numbers are only going to rise. It's not a matter of if the Horde will be back, but when. And whether that's sooner or later, we'll need to be ready. The inn here affords a good view of the land and is easily defendable. I'd like to make this one of our outposts. Okay. What do you say, Martha? You'd have more men to guard the rest. Well, when you put it like that, <laughs> of course they can stay. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> nice. Flames of war. Guardian Scarf. My lord, there's someone I'd like you to meet. Oscar, over here. Oscar. It is an honor to make your acquaintance, Lord Rossfield. I am Oscar. Oscar of House Murdoch. Murdoch? Murdoch? Oh! I wasn't aware the Lord commanded our children. Oh, he didn't. But his brother, oh. my father, did. I am Sir Rodney's nephew. Aww. 
Well, go on, then. It's not for me to ask him. Yes, Sir Wade. If it please you, my Lord Marquis, might you take me as your squire? I would learn the duties of a shield from the finest. <laughs> I'm sorry to disappoint you, Oscar, but I'm a shield no longer. Oh. Nor was I ever the finest. And spending time in the company of an outlaw hardly seems a fitting education for one uh, aspiring to take his oaths. My Aunt Hannah once told me that a man is not defined by his title, but what he does in its name. You have accomplished much since taking on the mantle of Sid, winning no little honor in so doing. So true. And I would sooner serve under an honorable outlaw than an unworthy sheep. No, no, not that so Wade Aww. and the other guardians are. I mean to say that uh, the. It's all right. We know what you mean. There I is only it. so much the boy can learn from me, my lord. <laughs> but a squire. Would that really be so bad? You were a squire once. And I'm certain Sir Rodney would approve. <sighs> know that I'll show you as much leniency as your uncle showed me. I would not have it any other way. This is so nice. How sweet. I will not let you down, Lord Rossfield. Oh. You. Or my uncle. We shall be staying here for the time being, and not just for the ale. All right. I'll have one of my men escort Oscar to Benamir once he's said his farewells. Thank you, Wade. Oh, hi, Clement. Thank you. Yeah, very cool callback. I love it. Fourteen email about a patch update. What is that it's supposed to be here? So, guys, I think I slept on my neck wrong. It hurts. It's like there's a knot in my neck today. <gasps> Torgal, need some pets. After it. There you go. <laughs> Cutie patootie. All right, where to? We could go to the Dalamil Inn or Northreach. I think we'll go to the Dalamil Inn first. New dungeons and stuff. Don't know what most sense means. Ooh, but it's calling. That's exciting. Okay. Hello, Lubor. Sid. Your new companion appears much more formidable than your uncle. <laughs> Should I be worried? No. Uh, you haven't been introduced. Jill. Clive has told me much about you. All lies, I'm sure. <laughs> Your Stolas said that Dalamil has a bandit problem. Indeed. Although, you're a little late. They left with our food and gill days ago. Oh. Any idea where they went? The desert's a big place. Your guess is as good as mine. But the fact is, I have more immediate concerns. What did you say to me? What did you say? Ah. As if by magic. Let's just say we've yet to reach a consensus about how to solve Dalimil's little problem. And at this rate, it won't be the actions of the bandits Thanks. which prove to be our undoing. It will be our own. Now, I've tried reasoning with the dissenting parties, but even the desert hare has limits. Perhaps we could talk to them. What makes you think they'll listen to us? What makes you think they won't? She makes a fair point, Sid. And you won't have wasted much of your precious time if you fail. They're just across the courtyard. All right, down the rabbit hole. I remember when Lubor made fun of Clive's Suppose name. Just follow the shouting. When literally Lubor's name is Lubor. Poor bastard. Couldn't run because of the weight of his load. Still, better a branded than one of us. Jesus Christ. Uh oh. You wouldn't talk like that if it had been your men whose throats were slit. Blood for blood, it's the only way. 
We hire mercenaries and have them mount the bandits' heads on our walls as a lesson to the rest. And okay, what Conrad. Happens when those mercenaries are slaughtered like your men, are you going to hire more? We're better off using that coin to buy food and supplies. If we hire mercenaries, the only thing we're buying is the bandit's ire. And you cannot fill empty bellies with that. Do you hear me? But what happens when they come back? Maybe it'll be your throat that's slit. That's enough. Both of you. Any more of this and I'll throw you out myself. <laughs> come back when you're ready to talk like adults. Will they ever be ready? I don't know. Um, Raficure, thank you so much for the Prime stuff. Welcome in. I feel like your emotes in your sub badge. Victor. Victor? What are you doing here? I don't remember Victor. Sid. And Lady Jill. What brings you Victor. here? Victor. I was about to ask you the same thing. Costness is in chaos, and the markets have all but ceased to operate. The Briar's Kiss here in Dalamil is the only place I can reliably obtain supplies. Mm. I was here to do just that when Master Lubor told me of his troubles. He thought I might be able to talk some sense into these fools. But if you're here, I suppose his patience must be waning. Who are those people? Those were the thorns in Lubor's side. And the reason this place might be headed the same way as Con- Victor. A friend of Sid's and later Clive's who keeps an ever attentive vigil on the comings and goings in Delmechia from his hometown of Costness. Is this the first person we were talking to after the five year time skip? I think it was. Yes. Okay. Okay. Hi, Decker James. Welcome in. Also, Jay. Hello. Okay. I remember him now. It's these accursed skies. The darkness is enough to drive a man to madness. Or an entire city, for that matter. We're still working on the skies. But in the meantime, perhaps we can find a solution to Dalamil's problems. I hope so. For all our sakes. Hmm, what are we gonna do? Gotta go talk to Lubor again. People take Hi Jays, how you then. doing? Shouldn't be too hard to track down Karen's. So, you see my predicament? What I saw was a room full of people who were angry and afraid. And with good reason by the sound of it. But if left to smolder, that anger and fear could set the entire town alight. My thoughts exactly. Ugh, what to do? Both sides wish to protect their homes and livelihoods, if only they could agree on how. But as long as they are divided, we are vulnerable. And if there's one thing bandits like, it's an easy target. What would Sid the Outlaw suggest? Well, if it were my namesake... He'd let them choose for themselves, and be on hand to pick up the pieces when it all went wrong. That sounds like a recipe for disaster. <sighs> a recipe for disaster is precisely what it is. But perhaps... That realization would be enough to make them question the ingredient. True. Well, it's plain neither Conrad nor Natalie will countenance the other's proposal. It may still be possible to make them doubt their own. Before presenting them with a third option. And that would be? To pool our resources and save the city exactly. ourselves. Exactly. Why fight each other? When all that fear and anger can be directed at the bandits. Uh -huh. It appears we have a plan of action. <laughs> nice one, Victor, Mr. Conrad a visit. See if you can't convince him of his folly. I'll speak with Natalie. As you wish. Sorry, my my headphones are dying. 
Let me change the battery really quick. Jay, thank you for the nine months. Every single prime. Can it be the lead of a Final Fantasy game and not be named after a weather or geological term? So true. You've got Cloud, you've got Clive. Okay, wait. Is Clive a weather thing? <laughs> you got Titus, which means water or tide in another language. Um, Squall. Okay. Hmm. Your faces are not well known in this town. That may prove useful. Are we gonna cause chaos? Don't worry, Victor and I will do most of the talking. You need only play along. Okay. Play along. What he means to say is yes. <laughs> For some reason, I want to call Luber Mr. Luby. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. Luby. I hate it though. Hi, Benny, welcome in. <laughs> Zidane from Nine isn't anything. Not whether, oh, or, or geolo geology term. <laughs> Picture it, Conrad. Your own city guard, with you as captain. Oh, Victor, what are you doing? Ah, here she is. The lady of the spear herself. Conrad, may I introduce Jane. you to Jane? Commander of the Red Wings. Yep. The oldest mercenary guild in the free cities. A pleasure, my lady. The... Pleasure is all mine. Lady Jane, question As mark. As I told you, I summoned the commander here from Canberra to inquire about a contract. Victor says you told him no. That there aren't any men left to hire. Is that true? True as the crystals cracked. Nobles came and claimed every last one worth his salt. And not just from us Red Wings. You know of the seven high houses. There must be two score swords assigned Look each one. Look at Clive just standing Granted, we have a few boys left. If it's boys you're looking for. Well, Conrad, are you saying that Dalamul's finest cannot defend this town better than a gaggle of unblooded mm. striplings? That a band of beardless youths could better avenge the deaths of your brave men than you yourselves? Absolutely not. <laughs> we'll show those bastards who they're dealing with. I can't believe that actually worked. Conrad's not what you call the brightest candle in the crypt. Poor Conrad. And there's a reason why I had you do the talking and not Sid. Well played, my lady. <laughs> I know Clive's hot as hell in that leather. No, seriously. He's gonna be sweating his ass off. Also, thanks for the follows, everyone. Welcome in. If y'all are doing good today. Ben Star said this game would make uh you love the name Clive, ain't lying. No, literally. I it, it's warming up. Well if I had my pickaxe, I would I actually like it now. At I first mean, I was like Clive. To buy something. What kind of name is Clive? Allowed to keep it. I'll yes, still kinda but... make fun of it, but Ah, here he is now. Natalie. Allow me to introduce Lord Underhill of Randalar's prestigious League of Merchants. All right, Clive, it's your time uh, to be an actor. Lord Underhill, at your service. <laughs> Underhill. I was just He's telling so the good lady awkward. of our conversation, my lord, and how you were lamenting the state of the capital stores. Lubor says that not only are the granaries almost empty, but that war and the blight mean this season's harvest won't be enough to fill them for winter. Indeed, certainly that is the case. The nobles in the capital are buying up the city's stocks of barley and wine, driving the prices higher than most commoners can afford. <laughs> it is only a matter of time before the peasants revolt. <clears throat> it is... Worse than I thought. If what Lord Underhill says is true, 
I fear we have little hope of supplementing our stores, meager though they regrettably are. And while I applaud your endeavors to dissuade our more bellicose citizens from seeking vengeance, I sense Conrad is not wrong in his assessment of the bandit's likely return. Which means that now, more than ever, we will need to secure what little we still have. Food, weapons, herbs, everything. Herbs. If our humble town is to endure not only this hardship, but those that are certain to follow, we must stand united. All right. If it will help to protect my home, I'll do it. But you needn't have gone through this charade. She knew. <laughs> Whoops. Thank you, Clive. Your performance was nothing if not <laughs> workmanlike. She saw right through it. <laughs> no, I didn't say it was good. Merely that it produced the desired effect. Now, my scouts should be returning shortly. Meet me back at the Briar's Kiss, and we shall see what we face. I love Clive. He's so charming. I'm not convinced our roles in this ruse were entirely <laughs> necessary. <laughs> yeah, he did great. Conrad did like Jill. I'm scared. Jill's performance. Oh, I'm ruined. All right, Victor. What's Good up? news, Sid. Both Conrad and Natalie have somewhat gracefully accepted their new roles. With time, they may even learn to. Time no longer appears to be the luxury it was before lunch. I take it your scouts found the bandits. Technically, it would be the bandits who found my scouts. Well, we gotta go to feed them. Delamil as we speak. All of them. You're not serious. They don't just want food, they want the whole damn town. I have a favor to ask. I'm told the bandits march in two groups, one from the south and one from the desert, in a move doubtless intended to stretch our already gossamer thin defenses. Very well. Jill and I will meet those from the desert. But what of the rest? The rest, my friend, the city shall fight. Together. Okay. The stakes I concede are high. But if this does not unite Dalamil, Nothing will. That is a lot of faith to put into those who had their hands around each other's throats but a moment ago. I believe in them. Then it will be for us to see that their hands are kept occupied. And I do mean us. I thought you might say that. We'll hold them off for as long as we can. And we will do the same. All right. Now, I want to try out this, um... Mega flare stuff again. I'm doing okay with potions. Oh! <laughs> no women folk have come to welcome us. Come on. I'll take that one. Hit me. It's all yours. Oh, 
They're making a funny noise. That noise that they're making. <laughs> Come on, hit me. Come on. No! I just want to try using this again. Clyde! Oh my god. Okay, this is fine. I'm not dead yet. You're gonna be nice. <laughs> <a good> boy. <laughs> <laughs> that enemy made some funny noises. <laughs> Oh, hi Adam, welcome in. Thanks for being hi, I'm new. Yeah, I'm not sure when it's supposed to come out. Don't expect it even after six months. Really? Hmm. The townspeople. Could they have held out? I don't hear any fighting. What do you oh, think? God, they better. They better have fought. Hurry. What are y'all doing? Are you still fighting? Natalie, I owe you an apology. Oh! You did well out there. The inn would have been lost had you not held the line. Okay. Without you, there would have been no line to hold. You saved us, Conrad. We okay. saved Alamil. We all saved Alamil. Conrad seems to have had a change of heart. I'd say they both have. I take it from your presence that our visitors from the desert won't be joining us either. Mm -hmm. Pity. <laughs> the plan worked, Sid. Granted, it only took an army of bloodthirsty bandits at our gate. Calm now, Victor. Why quibble over the details? Lubor's funny. We are united, and that is all that matters. <laughs> As for you, Sid, you fight considerably better than you act. Thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> uh, hi, Cherry. Delaville really is just Luber's daycare center where he babysits, yeah, a community of petty children. It's hilarious. Okay. I need to put something on here. What can I put on here? You know what? No. We're gonna put Flare Breath on. We'll try that out. Um, and we have more ability points. I'm going to... Could master this? It just takes so long. Oh god, I don't know. I don't know you guys. I would like to save up for Giga Flare. Just try it out. Yeah, with dodges is fast. Yeah, that's true. 
I think I'd have to use it when I'm like close to a big enemy, you know? One that tries to hit you multiple times in a row. So you can just keep dodging. Um, you can always try a uh, max mega flare, decide if you like it. Yeah, that's very true. Okay, anyway. Let's head on over to Northreach. Dodges and satellite helps while charging, yeah. First we find Isabel. Oh god, I hope Isabel's okay. Um Welcome, welcome. I do like a customer who knows what he wants. An excellent choice. I just don't know if satellite is worth it to like take the up a spot. Any sort of ghost from the you know. Hi Jesse, welcome I in. With me own eyes. How you doing? Twitch played you. What happened? Did you also not get a notification today? I saw some some people say that. I can't do it. Are you okay? My lord, my lady. We received the dame's message. There have been sightings of strange creatures, I understand. With the blue eyes. Yes. Like a kashik, but... But different? Different. They've taken so many. I've lost count. A kashik, but different. Are they the fallen? <sighs> Ultimus thralls. And what of your mistress? Is she here? Oh, no. She went to the garrison to ask what they were planning on doing about all this. Then we'll look for her there. Okay. Why we fight? Interesting. Could More arrived from the capital this morning. Ethan, hello. Bahamas iconic creed is great at dealing regular damage while the enemy yeah isn't staggered. Yeah. The two soldiers were carrying an It seemed to be pretty powerful when I like used it correctly. Look at all these people! Jesus Christ. Madame, please! Half the garrison's been slaughtered by those things. We lost the captain this very morning. We've tried requesting reinforcements, but there's been no word from the capital or the Dominion in days! What more would you have us do? I would have you do your duty. Those at the Vale look to me for protection. And protect them I shall. Because they are my charges and that is my duty. Sheesh. In case you have forgotten, the people of this town are your charges. But more than that, they are your people. Your sisters, your brothers, your lovers. So you have a choice. Lay down your sword and watch as they are slaughtered. Or take it up and do what is right. Damn. She speaks the truth, you know. This here. It's all we have. It's all that's left. What we have left is our lives. Do you really want us to lose <laughs> them as well? Not if we don't have to. Look, there's a cask under the captain's bunk. Let's talk about this over a drink, eh? I'm listening. I'll have a word with him. Philippe. Okay. Oh, hey. Clive. I didn't expect help to arrive so quickly. And sought to take matters into my own hands. It was a noble effort. But I thought you might still need some support. I'd like you to consider my needs. Um, <clears throat> what we need to consider is where the creatures came from. Chill. The way the survivors speak of them, one would think they appeared out of thin air. <laughs> <laughs> and perhaps they did. It's hard to know what to believe these days. Hmm. We'll talk to the survivors. <laughs> she said, excuse me, I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we should talk to survivors. Uh, off my man back he took here. off the captain's head. Before we could even draw his steel. Oh, oh, Jesse, thanks for watching the VOD. Yeah, the 37 HP clutch, that was intense. 
Did you see the creatures that attacked you? Creatures? Uh, yeah, I... They came out of nowhere. They went for Joseph first, then me, oh God. and then... Then they were just gone. Do you remember where you were? On the road from Oriflam. We just passed more when... When... Where's my Joseph? Girl, I think Joseph's She's gone. Quiet. Just rest now. It's all right. Really oh. You're a pikeman, yes? Clive is Jill sexual. <laughs> I've got family and more. I heard the flood was spreading, so I went to see if they were all right. And a pack of them glowing things God. found me in the meadow. I ran for my life. I never did get to the village. Leave that to us. At least Alrighty. we have an idea of where the thralls might be now. We should head for more. Safe. I'm scared. I you have a plan. We need to find out. I'm just like trying to understand Ultima's... There's all they can do to escape. They just left the bodies there in the flood. Look at the ether, the ether flood. I'm just like trying to understand Ultima and his like true goal, you know? Also, I'm gonna fight some of these guys. I just wanna test out. Um, This mega flare again. I'm really trying to like uh <laughs> these abilities. Okay. Oh nice try. You like impulse. But do I like it better than Titan? You know what? I just I feel like I just need to master these moves so that I can just put them on any any circle, any sphere, you know. Um I didn't master Mega Flare, no. Cradle Ether, oh my gosh. Clive. Uh -oh. I see them with me. Hit me. Nice try. Slay. Hundred. What? What does that mean? Should I prime? Girl, no. Save your strength. Come on. <laughs> I 
Uh oh. Ability to use, my god. Alright, we're leveled up. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, welcome in. <laughs> Do you think there are more? Hopefully not. There are always more. But I'd say we've done what we can for the time being. Then we should let Isabel know. You love heat wave counter moves in general, it's so satisfying to pull it off. Yeah. I feel like I never use heat wave like against magic, because you can like repel magic with that. You have the I never really sense. do that. Don't thank us yet. There will be more. Many more. And you'll need to be ready for them. Oh, we shall. Giselle, thank you for the Isn't four that months. Right, Captain. Yes. My lady, the garrison will be ready. Philippe here has convinced most of the men to remain at their posts. For Good now, job, Philippe. <laughs> Hearing that the dame would look kindly on any man who committed himself to the task certainly didn't hurt. Ah, it's not the most selfless of motives, I'll admit, but whatever it takes, eh? Now me, I never needed convincing. I became a soldier to protect the people I love. And the people I love Include the one standing before me. Oh, <laughs> handsome and Isabel's <laughs> like. <laughs> now, if you don't mind, I have sentries to post. Milady. How sweet. Lest you wonder, I'm not foolish enough to believe that this has solved all of my problems, but it has solved one. And that's one fewer than I had this morning. Thank you again, Clive. You're welcome. Nice. Right, Clive who? Cool. Our friends seem to have things under control. For now, at least. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Let's go put scoring rest. 
All right, let's go back to the hideaway. Ignition is amazing for clearing out mobs. Yeah, I haven't used ignition in a while, but honestly, I've thought about putting it back on. So I feel like it'd be good to round a bunch of enemies up. And again, like I said, I feel like I don't have a lot of AOE stuff. Okay, the sky is not as bad anymore. I'd be happy to tell Otto everything that happened. But I know he appreciates it when you spare him the time. Okay. Did you see that? Tell me mm. you saw that. Ignition's fun, feels like you're yeah, sweeping dirt, yeah. Hi Trev. Who me? Yumi? <laughs> I haven't heard that name in ages. <laughs> Is today a side quest stream? Yeah, I would like to do side quests today. Was wondering when you turn up. I'm back. Hellos from all our friends thanking you for your timely intervention. How is it you always manage to arrive at just the right moment? Luck, I suppose. <laughs> Any word on the rest of the realm? Hmm, let's see. Storm's still crying out for Mother Crystals. The nations are still in chaos. And the skies are still the color of a kick in the kidneys two days on. So... A kick in the kidneys. Nice. Clive, we knew this was going to happen. Well, not the bleeding skies part, but you take my point. Now's not the time to second guess yourself. Now's the time to visit oh! the infirmary. Taya Sorry. says your brother's awake. <laughs> Thank you, Otto. I was wondering where we were going to see them. Hello! Hello, sweetie pie, cutie baby Joshua! Dion's still asleep. So it was not Sylvester, but Olivier who served as Ultima's puppet. And when Dion learned of this, he sought to slay the fiend. <sighs> Only for his father to take the spear that would have freed him. Enough to drive a man to madness. Small wonder he hasn't stirred. I would be afraid to wake. You know what? Clive literally has gone through the same thing as Dion. Like, I was thinking about this for the past two days. Clive kills Joshua. Dion kills his father. Both accidents. Had I but reached out to him sooner. Warned him of Joshua. the threat Ultima posed. But it's now, both an empire and her prince lie broken. Joshua, what do you know of Ultima? Very little, I'm afraid. Despite my best efforts. Eighteen years ago, as I lay buried beneath the rubble of Phoenix Gate, it was not death who came for me, but another. And it was while in my rescuer's care I first heard of Ultima. Is it Yota? I've been chasing his shadow ever since. Ultima is driven by some deep, dark purpose, and for whatever reason, it would seem you are crucial to his designs. He will stop at nothing to have you. Even if that means toppling an empire. But why me? What possible use could I be to such a creature? That is one of many answers that have eluded me. Yet, I am certain of this. It is not mere chance. You were chosen for a reason. <laughs> All dominants carry within them the might of an icon. Nigh limitless power that is at once acutely limited. I wield fire and only fire. And I only ice. Eight wardens for eight elements. And yet Clive? But you, Clive. Yeah. You are different. You're special. Your abilities begin with the flames of Ifrit. But they do not end there. 
The fact Ifrit can even exist goes against everything we thought we knew of dominance. Perhaps Ultima has been waiting for one such as you, whose potential is truly limitless. I've encountered that thing several times now. If it or he, as you say, needs me, why hasn't he claimed me as he did the boy? Were I to hazard a guess, I'd say the two of you are somehow incompatible. His mind not properly attuned to your body. His mind? Mind, awareness, spirit, call it what you wish. But I believe Ultima to be an embodiment of the concept. This is why I struggle and fail to contain him here inside me. Joshua. Sorry, inside you. Oh God, Clyde doesn't know about this. With every setting sun, I feel my strength wane. And though the Phoenix's flames mend the prison I have made for Ultima, they do so at a cost. We must find a means to bring an end to him before I meet my own. What were you thinking? It was that or let him take Clive. And I've always had a soft spot for my brother. Of course. That doesn't mean you sacrifice yourself to save me. <coughs> Joshua. Oh my gosh. Joshua. Clive, it's Gav. <coughs> What about Gav? There's an army of Akashic at the gates of Canver. <laughs> Can we? <laughs> I just feel sadness. <laughs> Poor Josh. Josh. Joshua is just like. He takes on so many other people's burdens I feel like he just wants to save everyone you know never thinks of himself the way he was like if only if only I would have talked to Dion more then he wouldn't have gone and killed his father and got driven to madness he's just too good yeah literally Gab always interrupting <laughs> Two self-sacrificial idiot brothers. <laughs> These Ross fields. I love them. Well, what's the short of it? Uh, it's all tired, told you. The capital of the free cities is under siege by an army of monstrosities. The city guard are doing their best to stem the tide, but numbers ain't on their side. What of Lord Byron and Mid? Were they able to escape? No. But they're all right for now. They're hiding with Gav at midship. Okay. We have to get them out of there. Mm. And we shall. Otto, prepare a stolas. Tell Gav to stay exactly where he is. Understood. Vivian, what's the swiftest route to the free cities? <laughs> that sounds like a question for the map. Look here. This road through Tabor. Tabor should provide the least trouble. Good. What a coincidence. Tabor is exactly where I'm bound. Joshua, Joshua! bed is where you should be bound. Go sleep. What's wrong with you? You don't think I told him the exact same thing? Were Taya not such a talented healer, I would surely have been inclined to agree. Joshua. <laughs> Thanks to her ministrations, I feel I may safely rejoin my attendant, who was to wait for me in Tabor if we became separated. Aww. All right, we travel together. Clive. If he stays close to me, he'll be fine. The two Thank bros. You, brother. I'll look after him. Joshua! My attendant was Sorry. with me in the Dominion before I primed. She would have watched the battle unfold and witnessed its outcome. I trust you'll be waiting for me in Tabor, where I can finally introduce you. Okay. That's so beautiful! I'm in chills! I just love him! Look at him! 
I'm like... I love him. I'm so happy he's coming with us, but also like Joshua, I'm angry at you because you need to rest. Like, come on. So before we go, we are going to do some side quests. Are you kidding me? This happened last time, you guys. Literally on Monday, I was like, okay, let's go do some side quests before we head on out to the main quest stuff. It'll open back up quickly, okay. Uh, I'm just travel and see the cutscene and show up and up. Okay. Well. I can hardly lift my arms. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> you had the same frustration, Dawn? <laughs> yeah, why give us so many and then lock us out? I don't understand it. Central Dalmechia. That's my baby boo right there. <laughs> He's just a baby. Cloak and dagger. It's like a dream, the four of us out walking like we used to. Enjoying this, are you? Gav and the others could be in danger as we speak. Clive! Yes. I'm sorry. Clive, Jute chill! Jute is a fine scout. If Canva was attacked, she will already have begun gathering information. Tabor isn't far. We should pick up the pace. Okay, now should we go? Say that. Like, just let him be happy that we're all together again. See, I don't think it's that out of character. I think Clive is just like really stressed out about the fact that Gav might be hurt, that Josh was coming with because Josh was literally getting so sick. And I think it's just a lot. So, okay, guys. Now, now we're gonna go. Yeah, he's where he wants everything to be okay. Exactly. <laughs> Joshua was regretting sealing Ultima inside in my glass. <laughs> Is it just Shiva? Oh, Joshua's with us! Oh, God. Joshua, you're not supposed to. <sighs> maybe, maybe side quest is a bad idea because it's going to hurt him. It's fine. Okay, we have to go down there. <clears throat> Even if gameplay doesn't. Was this um... enough to find? Now for those herbs. Oh. Hi. Doesn't have full party control. Story definitely makes it, yeah, feel like a party. I agree. I think it'd be really overwhelming if we were able to control. Um, The whole party. Go, Joshua, go! Look at him just stand there, hell yeah. <laughs> you go! <laughs> Mound. Easy. <laughs> um, this is the only plant around here with blue flowers. I hope it's the right one. It has to be. Losing Joshua the first time it has some shook. Yeah, I just want to fail again. Yeah. 
Took advantage of Josh for the help uh, Ooh, on difficult hunts. Hopefully this will put Rodriguez's mind at ease. Hey. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just love him. <laughs> Trying to use um consistently use Torgo's overwhelming whole party would definitely be Oh yeah, too much, yeah for sure. I only really remember you use Torgal when I have an enemy staggered and I'm like, all right, sick of Torgal. Okay, where else could we go? We could go over here. It would be cool if they had more playable sections for different characters, like how we played, oh yes, baby Joshua in the prologue. That would be really cool. Maybe in DLC. You know? Do you have any fresh water? Now I just need to see about getting the word out to everyone. Hello. <sighs> I want to know right away. Is this a new Bad side news. quest? Good, actually. Something worth celebrating for a change. Only trouble is the serving girl's still new to the job, so I can't leave her while I go and invite those I'd like to celebrate with. What exactly are you celebrating? If you don't mind me asking. I've come by a particularly fine bottle of red. A Gotan 66, no less. Gotan Rouge is the only good thing to have ever come out of the Empire. And most wouldn't part with a 66 if you held a knife to their throats. So I've heard. Oh. So you know of it, then? Clearly, you're a gentleman of taste. Gentleman of taste. A gentleman who might sympathize with my predicament, perhaps? Would you pass the good news to a few friends of mine? I'll give you a little sure. something for your time, of course. Okay. Sounds simple enough. So you'll do it. Marvelous. Thank you. You won't need to go far. All three of them should be right here in the market. There's Aldrich, the porter, Milan, the butcher, and Bollock, a guard over at the north gate. Three of the finest fellows in Bocklad, if you ask me. Tell them to come to the tavern when they finish for the day. Stop by again when you let them know, and I'll give you your little something. <laughs> I'll be right back. All right. Yeah, I heard that they didn't want DLC, or like they weren't planning on making DLC. But yeah, a lot of people want it, so... That'd be very cool to have a Sid and Benedicta backstory. I think I'd want some Shiva backstory too. Oh, I can't go that way. Like having a Jill DLC would be amazing. To when no Hello. To go. I've been asked to find Aldrich, the porter. I don't suppose that's you, is it? That's me, right enough. You need something delivered. The innkeeper sent me. He said there's a cup of Gotan 66 with your name on it when you're done for the day. <laughs> a 66? Oh, Bug at me. If he's just got hold of it now, it must have been in the crates he had me carry down from San Brack. From the Empire to Boklad. He must be a braver man than most. That's a treacherous route to the best of times. Uh, such is the porter's lot. There's not a patch of storm these feet haven't traipsed across. Okay, Sorry Slayer. Sorry one day, then off to Canva the next. The farther you're willing to go, the fatter the purse. Which is why there's no shortage of competition for some of the longer routes. I'd say I've done enough for today to earn myself a cup of something tasty. Thanks for letting me know. You're welcome. Hi, Ziggy. Welcome in. Dion Terrence dating sim. I would like to see it. So am I out of focus? Okay, I think that's better. Blackthorn DLC where we play a rhythm game to make a sword. That would be so fun. Have any of you played the Final Fantasy rhythm game? What's it called? Rhythm Bar? I think Haley told me it was on sale. Was that the game you were talking about, Haley? Please. A piece of fruit. Um, they'll make 16 2. Oh my gosh. I still need to play 10 2. Hello. Are you Milan, the butcher? That's me. What can I do for you? The innkeeper's just had a special delivery. He thought you might like to join him for a cup of wine after you pack up for the day. <laughs> 
He knows me only too well. And I've got a ham here that will go handsomely with a nice drop. Why didn't ham to spare? Barclay clearly isn't suffering, then. Comes with being the place everyone has to pass through to get to everywhere else. Those who travel the Crystal Road bring all manner of goods with them. We get meat from San Breck, herbs from Rosaria. Why, sometimes we even see curiosities from across mm. the Narrow. Or rather we did, till not so long ago. These are lean times, and even Bockcloud isn't the bustling trading post it once was. Still, there's no point dwelling on it. Better to live life while you can, eh? And on that note, it sounds like there's a cup of wine needing my attention. <laughs> Give me the trilogy for 16, Kai. I You'll want it. Won't you? I would play a 16 trilogy. You've raised the price. I wonder why they so thought class, to make the Yuffie DLC through, for Seven Remake. You know, Enough, all of you. We're under not to let like what made them think? Hmm, let's right let's make a DLC right. for Yuffie. Like it was so good. I'm looking for Bolak. I just want to know what their thought process was. I was told he'd be guarding that. the gate. Well, you found him. You're not here to enlist, I take it. The innkeeper sent me. He's just taken delivery of a rare vintage, a Gotan 66. He thought you might like a cup. I've never said no to a Gotan. I'm not about to start now. Thanks for letting me know. You're welcome. You must be a busy man. Hi, first show. Welcome no in. No one's making for the refugee camps anymore. Not after what happened in the Dominion. Meaning, they linger here instead. I spend more of my days moving beggars around than I do manning these gates. What gets to me are the gangs that prey on the poor sods. As if they haven't suffered enough. Some days you can't help but wonder what the world's coming to. You know what? That wine's sounding better by the moment. Well done. I wonder if the innkeeper might spare a cup of that wine. <laughs> Izaki. Is it Zaki or Zaki? You feel join the main party early into rebirth? Yeah. Probably tease how the gameplay would be for the rest of the cast. Yeah, I think it was a really good idea to to make that DLC. Um how to make up for Yuffie being missable in the original game, true. You know what? <laughs> the Vincent Park. I was just gonna mention Vincent. What if they make a Vincent DLC for Rebirth? Please. Oh, sorry. Slight, slight spoilers for OG7 and like possible rebirth content. Um, I think we'll probably meet Vincent like in the middle of rebirth. I'm guessing, shelter? unless they switch things around. I spoke to your friends. They'll be along soon. That's fantastic news. Thank you kindly. It's been a while since we all sat down together. And the way I see it, that wine is as much theirs as it is my own. How so? Well, I wouldn't be serving anything but slops without Aldrich to go and fetch the good stuff for me. And then there's Milan, who always sends customers my way. And Bolek, an even-handed keeper of the peace, if ever there was one. Those three are the backbone of Boklad. Lose any one of them, and the market would soon fall apart. And without the market, I wouldn't have a single customer. <laughs> I'd say that's worth a bottle of 66, wouldn't you? <laughs> and more besides. Everyone needs a shoulder to lean on. Be they world-weary innkeepers or brooding swordsmen. Right. I'd better prepare for my guest's arrival. I hear you had me carrying a bottle of Gotan Nearly 66. All are. Wow. Hi, Esper. Welcome in. If I'd have known, I would have sold the thing and lived like a lord. I'll settle for a cup, though, if you're in a sharing mood. Are we gonna get some? A Gotan 60 bloody six. Just as well I had something special of my own set aside. A bottle between the four of us might not be enough to drown our sorrows, <laughs> but it can't hurt. Here they are, the three pillars of Boklad. <laughs> Sit yourselves down, gentlemen. The woes of the world may be monstrous in many, but there's nothing like a few good friends to keep the misery at That's bay. sweet. Never a true word spoken. They got a charcuterie board. <laughs> Sorry. I 
<laughs> Are they not gonna share? Well. Black blood and we're right. All right, nice. <laughs> Y'all, this they could give Clive a sip, like, come on. Oh, Josh was here. Josh was like a jump scare every time I see him. I'm like, oh my god, Joshua. <laughs> okay, um. There are lots of side quests here, you guys. Do you have any fresh water? Mew, hi Mew, welcome in. How are you? You ever played the city? I know, I have not. What is that? What's happened? Do you guys think they'll ever Pardon remake me. um would you happen to be a fighting man? The Vincent chance? game. That well notched steel and impressive physique. I have need of a sword for hire, and yours looks to be a weapon well worth the coin. Might you be convinced to offer me the use of those formidable arms? <laughs> How exactly do you intend to use them? Well, being something formidable of a arms. in history. I wish to investigate the ruins near the city, and I require a rugged companion, lest I find myself waylaid by ne'er do wells or the beasts sure. to roam the area. Should you accept, you will not only earn yourself material wealth, but partake of the true treasure that awaits us there the rich and storied history of Zemeckis. Okay. Well, were you ever party to a finer proposition? Might as well. My arms are yours. Wonderful. <laughs> then come. We must away. But where are we going? Along the old Zemeckis road. And from there, onward to discovery. Quickly. There is not a moment to lose. All right. Let's go. Wait. <sighs> well, good luck with your ne'er-do-wells. <laughs> Let's go, Clive. I'd better make sure he doesn't get himself killed. Oh my gosh. Um. Dirge. Yes, but Dirge is Serbius. Yes. Like Most likely? Do you think they will? When are they gonna let Very interesting. Run? Um, I think Joshua's my catch in this game. I was obsessed with him. I think he might be becoming mine too. It's like Joshua and Dion. Uh oh. I'm not surprised. Get away from him! You'll hand over your coin if you know what's good for you. Hit me! Oh shit! Okay, here we go. Play. It's over! noise that was horrible <laughs> uh. you hurt happily not good sir thanks to your Hi, kind intervention more importantly you have arrived <laughs> now feast your eyes upon the mark <laughs> before us ruins a relic of the fallen civilization <laughs> A sight so common that man is oft blinded to its wonder. Colossal vessels, dashed from the very heavens. Airships, we call them. With very little thought to what wonders such a word might describe. Oblige me if you would. Does anything strike you as peculiar about this but I don't know. I don't know. Specimen. Though we ourselves find fallen ruins to be nigh indestructible. Whatever gouged the final sin from the rock cleaved clean through the structure you see before you. Whoa. A tantalizing mystery, no doubt. But merely one of countless enigmas in which Zemeckian history is steeped. Mm. Come, good sir. Our expedition continues. And we still have much to learn. Clive's like, I don't want to be on this history tour, but I kind of want to because this is interesting lore. <laughs> That's funny. Thank you for the follows. Welcome in. Yeah, he's going to have a rough rest of his day for sure. I kind of feel bad. 
But that was hilarious. I just- I gave him a little charged magic burst. It's fine. Wait. Look at them on their chocobos! Hi, cutie patootie. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> yeah, it's quite a cut. I find it interesting how they're talking about sin and like final sin in this game. Bro, why don't you just wait for us, you know? All right then. Who's first? Oh, come on. We did not get a curdling throat noise that time, thank god. Are you okay? You're going to get yourself killed. <laughs> oh, that would not do. That would not do at all. Not when such majesty stretches out before us. This guy's funny. Behold, the final sin in all its glory. As Moss tells us, a battle was fought here in ancient times. A battle of such ferocity that it tore a great crater in the very land upon which mm. it was waged. In reaching for their holy sanctum did man enrage the gods. And great was the vengeance that was rained down upon him. Alas, the full truth of the matter is lost to time. Though I live in hope that I might see it discovered. But we must not dwell upon such things. There is more yet to see. Okay. Onward. History awaits. <laughs> Clive just shaking his head. <laughs> All right. Hello, Ambrosia. Come on. Come on. Where to now? Jill's chocobo is so fast. I feel like she's always running up ahead of us. Oh my gosh. Oh, no. oh this is a big guy. He's really got himself into trouble this time. Fuck me. <laughs> Can I do it one more time? No? Okay. Okay. Commonly stop. <laughs> Hi. How are you? Um no one else is self-preservation. No, he's only thinking about his education. <laughs> Still in one piece. It would seem so. 
Once more, I am in your debt. And once more, you impress me with your prowess. These were no ordinary foes, but ones we in the field call Echoes. Echoes? Though Moss the Chronicler concurs with the legends in attributing the fall of Zemeckis to a wrath wrought upon mankind wrath. by the gods, he offers little in the way of explanation. Could the ruins we see before us here, in all their elaborate beauty, perhaps suggest an answer? Could the construction of such miraculous edifices have been considered an encroachment upon the province of the divine? Alas, all is mere speculation. But one day, perhaps, I will learn the truth. I hope he does, and I hope we do too. Trouble. I feel like we will. You are right, of course. And not only have you plucked me repeatedly from the jaws of death, you have proven yourself a willing audience to my ramblings. Glad to help, but didn't you say you came here to investigate something? I fear I may have rather overstated the case on that front. In truth, really? a captive ear was all I really desired. You just wanted... Okay, you see, okay. Even my fellow scholars have grown somewhat <laughs> weary of my musings of late. And so I came upon the idea of purchasing a companion. Okay. A captive audience, if you will. That's what this was all about. I am afraid so. And now, my good man, it is high time we returned whence we came. Fine. <laughs> Just don't go running off his time. <laughs> the therapist? No, if only he was in the time of the internet, he could just go on forums and like write a bunch of paragraphs on forums or make make a three hour long YouTube video. People would watch it, okay? And so ends a delightful day. Here, your reward for humoring my selfish whims, plus a little extra for the trouble I have put you in. Yeah, through. if only he lived in the Reddit time period. Rent a climb! <laughs> ben would literally hire Clyde to have him listen to them rather than go to therapy. Wait, what did we just get? We got some sort of bracelet. Um. Breath of Earth, upheaval. Ooh, okay. Oh, I don't need this on. Okay, we have badge of metal on. Let's put that on. Hmm. Well, okay, we'll keep Badge of Might on. Um, Clive, did we have a shadow version of himself? Yeah, instead of going to therapy, that is true. And you look know good for him for doing that. There's one more side quest here. Hi, Joshua. Okay. <laughs> Hello. I see you've been of some assistance to Eloise. Perhaps you can extend me the same kindness? Perhaps. What would I be doing? Finding someone. You see, I've been having trouble with thieves, and despite the many pains I've taken, I can't stop them from rummaging through my packs. So many thieves. I was griping about my lot to a friend of mine a few days back, and he offered to track the culprits down. Now, Joseph's a sellsword, and a good one at that. But he's been gone days, and I'm beginning to fear the worst. I got you. Any idea where his search for the thieves might have taken him? The old Zemeckis Road, perhaps? He doubted they would be fool enough to linger here in Boklad. Joseph's lived a hard life. Made him grey long before his time. I just pray he hasn't been killed over a few sacks of grain. I can't imagine there are too many grey-haired sellswords around. Hopefully someone will have seen him. 
Is Joseph going to be alive? Hmm. Live and let live. Okay. So we have to ask around about the missing cell sword? Looks like this is the end of the road for us. Have you seen a gray haired man? What do you want? I've no coin on me. Just information. Has a cell sword passed through here? Gray hair. Now you mention it. There was a young man with salt in his mane sneaking around out there a while back. Which way did he go? I... How am I supposed to know? Buggered off down the road, I expect. Now why don't you do the same and leave me be? Okay, goodbye. <laughs> Can we go on our chocobo again? Yes, there we go. Hello, I love how Ambrosia just appears out of nowhere. I know she is a little rude. I don't blame her though, because like... <laughs> when you have so many people who are probably so mean to you day in and day out. Hard to trust people. Hello. Oh, I'm so sorry. Can we talk to you on my chocobo or no? We don't want any trouble. Neither do I. I'm looking for someone. A grey-haired mercenary. Well, we haven't seen him. Yes, we have. We saw him climbing up the rock. <laughs> Those ones yeah, we have. Over there. Okay. Maybe he found his thieves. Mum won't let me near them. She said there's goblins up there and that they eat little boys for dinner. Shush now. You've said quite enough already. Uh, you thank you. What you said. Thank you. I'd listen to your mother if I were you. Yeah. Yeah, he's a little snitch. But also, we love that. We love that for him. Um. Now, how do we get up there? Are we gonna have to go around, or we can just go up here? Joseph's thieves really lug their stolen wares all the way out here. I don't know. An ancient sword? Wait. What the hell? I will take that. Thank you. I hope I can upgrade that too. Uh oh. This reminds me of a Bacoblin camp in Zelda. I think we found our thieves. Look at this crown! Let's go! They don't look happy to see me. Goblin Prince! Come on. Oh my god. Alright. That's fun. <laughs> Should put this theme on trombone champ. Oh my god. I would love that. Let's get this over with. Stop. <gasps> he's alive. Don't kill him. He's just protecting his home. Oh. Joseph. So the boy was right. I don't know you. Your porter friend sent me to find you. She was worried you might have got yourself killed. Have I been gone that long? 
He's a good looking man. Thieves. The problem was knowing what to do with them when I did. I take it things are more complicated than they appear. Hmm. Hey fish, welcome in. I'd all but ruled out bandits before I even left the market. Are they friends? You know what that is? <laughs> because our thieves had no interest in gold or gems or anything they couldn't eat for that matter. Add to that the rumors of goblins in the area and the mystery practically <laughs> solved itself. I soon found their cozy little homestead and all the missing food. I launched myself at them full of righteous fury, but their leader was the only one who moved to meet me. The others, they huddled around that food, ready to die protecting it. Okay, Joseph. They stole because it was that or starvation. I've been there myself, back when times were hard. So you spared them? And earn their trust into the bargain by the look of it. These goblins aren't native to the area. They don't know how to survive such barren lands, so... I've been teaching them. And once they've learned to hunt and forage, they won't be fool enough to risk their necks in Boklad. I'm impressed. I didn't know goblins could be reasoned with. Do me a favor. Let the porter know I'm safe. I'll head back to the market once my work here is done. Joseph is a good man. Oh, and don't mention the goblins. I don't Aww. want people coming here branching Yeah, they were just hungry. Forks. Not now, this looks so <laughs> nice. <sleeping. laughs> Your secret's safe with me. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you. Joseph's so kind. Hi, thanks for the boss, everyone. He is one with the goblins. Yes. Yes. All right, we can go back to here. I think that was the last side quest can do in this area. What's uh, happened? The cards at the gate are all right. I was not planning on doing the Just side quest slide, in then. this area right you now, or today. A few loose ends. But I didn't know there were new ones. <sighs> That's a weight off my shoulders. He certainly knows his business. He found your thieves all right. And I dare say they won't be coming back. A good man to have around, that Joseph. And if he says there'll be no more thieving, that's good enough for me. Thank you for putting my mind at ease. Here, for your troubles. What do we get? Another accessory, maybe? No, nothing? Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Like, how are you not going to give us anything? Okay. Um, let's see. Let me look at my journal. I feel like we should focus on... Okay, let's take these off. We should focus on the ones with the plus. <gasps> Maybe we should do one of the hunts to locate the Bomb King. Okay. Yeah, let's do those. And then maybe we can continue with the main quest after that. So... Let's look at the hunt board first. Yeah, hunts are fun. I feel like I should do more of them. I haven't done too many. Hello, Nectar! So cute! Unless you stumble on S ring accidentally, curse you, did this happen to you? <laughs> Are you on the hunt for a bomb king, Koopo? If so, I have a billet that might interest you. Okay, I think it's this one. Yes. Okay. That's right, I've read this before. S rank ones are humbling. I was <laughs> a changed person. Taking you all to a storehouse in the bales. Leave anything you don't need behind. I forgot. I forgot that they're preparing for war. <laughs> Cause Quentin's kind of crazy. <laughs> yeah, let's look at the local map. So the croc, the croc and sand wreck. Oh, I think it's over here. Okay, so. We travel to this little area. 
Hi, Rick Bella. Welcome in. Thanks for your seat. Are you doing well today? So we're gonna go to down here and around. I wish we could place pins on the map. What the hell is that? No, I don't want to fight you. Wait, you can? Oh my god, you're right. What the hell? Can I- <gasps> Alright! <laughs> Thank you, guys! I didn't know I could do that. That's very helpful. Is it Bella? How are you doing today? Okay, the Imperial Chase. Yes, there we go. Man, I'm how many hours into this game? And I'm just learning to place pins down. Love it. So, oh, okay. I'm not, I don't want to be here, but Ella, Ella. Okay. Thank you for letting me know. I hope you're doing great today. Um, joke about drifting. <laughs> I wish. I don't think I've learned how to drift with, um, my little chocobo yet. here this is so secluded oh my gosh okay let me grab this Aaron welcome back all right ew the bomb king hopefully I won't die <laughs> Of here. Greetings, Your Majesty. Okay, okay. I just. I just... <laughs> I 
I'm scared, you guys. You're almost dead. Nice. <sighs> they just kept on appearing. Jesus Christ. Hi, Foxhound. Yes, yes. Last one was um, Bahamut. Bomb Ember. <gasps> Miso! The rain is over. Now to collect the ash. I should... Say hi. Oh, they brought a bucket. So cute. Rio, hi Rio. How convinced the hunts are only put into the game to make Clive say one-liners about the hunt targets? This I really. Like stuff. Let's see if there's any more. I think it'd be fun to like dedicate a whole stream to hunts. There's a lot of them on that board. Right, is that I it? Should do it? Okay. How do I get rid of this? Here we go. Um. Now back to the hideaway. Redeemed any rewards with your renown yet? No. I don't even know what that is, but you can tell me. That is a pineapple thing. Did you see that? Um. Hunts are so good, yeah. I would like to try them. I just don't want this game to be over, you guys. Like, I feel like I'm going way too fast. I hope you didn't have too much trouble finding the ammonia. Only the usual. Oh, yes. This is it. And more than I was expecting. Atlas, oh gosh. The patient won't feel a thing. That is, unless I. You'll do fine. Taya trusts you, which means I trust you. The hideaway would be lost without skilled physicists like yourself. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the kind words, truly. But I'm, I'm sorry. I I'm like this terrified. guy. The brand is more than just ink on flesh. It's a death sentence. Milk of the wyvern tail lurking just below the surface of the skin. One ill-conceived incision, a single slip, and the poison fouls the patient's blood. Mm. Failure means death, and even success means tremendous pain. Days of agony as the wound heals. I became a physica to help people, not to kill them. I, I, I don't want to kill anyone. Curse breakers lead hard lives. And the operation is only the beginning. They toil in the shadows, risking life and limb. Knowing their efforts will win them neither glory nor acclaim. And yet we never won for volunteers. Why do you think that is? Conviction? They're willing to die? They're willing to fight. To give their lives to create a world where people like us can be more than mere possessions. I know your work isn't easy. But neither is going under the knife. Be a shoulder for your patients to lean on. Stay strong for Spin. them. <laughs> you sound like Tyre. Do you know what she once told me? It's natural. For a patient to feel like they're suffering in solitude. And it's a physicist's duty to see that they don't. Thank you for helping me remember that. I won't falter. Not again. Hmm. We played, um... Oh, are you talking about 14? Final Fantasy XIV. I actually started it last year, um, but I stopped and I'm thinking about playing it again. I downloaded it for my PS5 yesterday, actually. 
So I think I'm gonna start another account. And I'll do a Realm Reborn off stream, and then I will do the rest of the expansions on stream sometime. I'm just, I'm not sure when I'm gonna do that. Yeah, I heard it was really good. Love how Clive gives, Clive gives advice to me too. Alright there, Sid. He's very wise. How's that hunt for the bomb ash going? I have it here. Wise and kind. He knows how to be a leader. That's the stuff. And plenty of it too. Enough to keep the Olympic bubbling away for a good old while. So cute. You're a gent, Sid. Let nothing say otherwise. Right then. Let's get this contraption up and running. Look at his little head. <laughs> you can barely see him. Sometime later. There we have it. Oh. on the Limbic. And it works just like the chief said it would. <sighs> Very impressive. <laughs> Since the man who cut down a burning boulder. Speaking of which, I still haven't returned a favor. There's no need. The good it will do for the hideaway is reward enough. Don't be silly. Why don't you let me take a look at that bag of yours? The one you keep your potions oh? in? Reckon I could work some magic on that, huh? What kind of magic? Well, we happen to have isolated a substance in our test run of the Alembic that I reckon will make even the toughest lever supple as anything. Thought we might use it to breathe new life into old boots and the like. Save the hideaway a few, Gil. Ah, I reckon if we slap a bit on your bag, it'll loosen it up enough for you to squeeze in a bottle or two more. Well, it can't hurt to try, I suppose. That's the spirit! Be it more... I'll only be a more potions? Elixirs? Looney, hi! Thank you for the three months! Come in. Well? What do you reckon? It certainly feels more... <laughs> flexible. Right? Told you. He's so Thank excited. You. I think. The engineer is no. Clive's like, huh? <laughs> for supporting Lid and the rest of us in our endeavors. Without you, we'd never have been able to discover wonders like that stuff I rubbed on your bag. <laughs> and I'm telling you, there's plenty more where that came from. All right, Owain. <laughs> Weird science. It's done. Why didn't you just buy a bigger bag? That's a good question. I'm not sure. A treated potion satchel. Necessary for increasing consumable inventory capacity. Nice. Nice! Cool. Um. Oh! So we can carry... Six potions now, four high potions. Okay, cool. I like that. Um, find the cop with three bots miss content. Glad you've been enjoying the game. Yeah. Yeah, welcome in, Luna. I hope you've been doing well. We've gotten a lot done in the past three streams, it feels like. Okay, um... We have to go to Dalamil now for this Blacksmith Blues quest. Let's go. You're so cute, Miso. Guys, Miso's finally not waking me up at like 6 a.m. every day because I changed the feeding time. So, uh, oh. you use a knife, don't you? I changed the feeding time on, um, is automatic feeder so it used to be at like to work to 8 a.m the and then i would have to get up at like 6 to feed him wet food but now where am i supposed to go now his automatic feeder feeds him at like 6 a.m and then i give him wet food around 8.
Joshua, help me out here. You've been here before. Where am I supposed to go? Oh. My reputation will be ruined. Ruined! Calm yourself, Lord Ignac, I beg of you, before you do yourself a mischief. Pardon the intrusion, but... Out! Get out! <laughs> I paid for these rooms so I wouldn't be disturbed. Leave me be! Please, allow me to apologize. Respectful man. His lordship is going through a difficult time, and he's never been fond of guests arriving unannounced. Radim! Get rid of the filthy oaf this instant! Filthy oaf? Very good, Lord Ignac. Would you mind stepping outside for a moment? <laughs> I think oaf is a funny insult. You filthy oaf. I'm sorry if I've caused you any trouble. That? No, no, no. That's just how his lordship is. Though the morning's events have left him somewhat fractious. He has been dispossessed of his luggage, you see. The thieves also made away with a considerable amount of coin. Coin the innkeeper will soon be keen to collect. I don't suppose a certain blade was among the stolen items. A single-edged sword. It was purchased from a merchant friend of mine. Ah, you know Lady Karen. Yes, I'm afraid it was. Then I'll retrieve Lord Ignac's luggage. But I have one condition. You have but to state it. You are welcome to anything that is within my power to grant. I want an audience with Lord Ignac. A few minutes should be enough. Then I'll be on my way. Okay, Clive. A condition I would be a fool to refuse. Of course, you shall have your audience. I don't suppose you saw where the thieves went? I did not. No. Though some discreet inquiries made on his lordship's behalf mean that I know where you might find them. The bandit's bed. The bandit's bed. Every ill-gotten coin in Dalamal is said to pass through that disreputable corner of the Valcroy. And that's where I'm heading. Okay. I shall speak to Lord Ignac in your absence and arrange for an audience upon your triumphant return. That will be very kind of you. Farewell. And best of luck. Thank you. Hi, Asvari. Welcome in. Only chance to hi. I'm doing good. How are you? We're just doing some side quests today. So... Gotta go to the bandits? I wish I could just jump down here. How did I even get up here? Oh, stairs. Um, you gave hope wet and dry at the same time. To work together in defending yeah, I... Wait, where am I supposed to go? All the way over there. Okay. I get so lost. You fought very bravely. Okay, this is the right way. Safety of the town is in our I don't know why I started, like... Giving me so food at different times. Ready, go. So I'll feed him his wet food at like 8 a.m. now, and then also at like 6:30, um, and then he gets dry food at like 6 a.m. and 10 p.m. Oh, and go that way. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna travel here. Yes. But he's been such a baby lately. Does he have a preference between dry or wet foods? He'll eat anything, honestly. I think he likes his wet food more. Let's go. Run like the wind. Um, he will literally eat anything and like he'll try to steal food off my plate. I'm like, sir, you can't do this, you pickpocket. Alright. Nope. Oh, we're not gonna fight you. Um, would you ever get a dog companion for Miso? I would love a dog. I just don't know if Miso would like one because he sometimes sees dogs out the window, like of my neighbors when they walk their pets, and he like he growls at them. <laughs> so I 
I don't think he would like a dog. Maybe another cat. Yeah. When Mises are stealing food, just start eating his. Have you guys ever had cat food or dog food? Just a question for the class. I have not. But <laughs> I've said this before. <laughs> Once I had a babysitter. It was like a family babysitter. And they would take care of like a bunch of kids at their house and this babysitter had a dog and one of the kids would literally just eat the dog food out of the dog's bowl. It was very interesting. Oh, here they are. Straight home now. Okay. Quiet. Hey. We've got company! Come on, lads, let's tear the bastard's head off! I must just said Joseph. <laughs> Too slow. Please, English only in chat. Um, because they're so weird. Group with a friend that would just squeeze ketchup packets on a paper plane and eat it. <laughs> oh Lord! Thank you guys. Thank you for doing that. Thank you, Mod. This must be Ignac's luggage. Nothing seems to be damaged. All right, let's get it back to Delamel. Nice. Cousin once thought dog food was Cocoa Puffs? Did they like it? Also, okay. Sorry. English only, please? Um, we've asked you. I hear once I have already. you to thank for the return of my effects. What shall I call you, my good man? Wyvern. Glad to make your acquaintance. A formidable Wyvern. name, indeed. Well, Wyvern, I appear to be in your debt. Redeem here tells me you wished for an audience. Is that all? A few moments of your time should suffice, yes. You're a peculiar fellow, Wyvern. All right, speak. A master Wyvern was wondering if you could tell him about a certain single-edged mm. sword you recently acquired. Oh, a true work of art, that one. Karen drove me hard on the price, but I would have sold her Radim here to get my hands on that sword. Wow. It was made okay. in the outer isles, far beyond the twins, and is used exclusively by the practitioners of a unique school of swordsmanship. They believe no combat should ever exceed a single strike and hone their blades to such perfection that none ever does. Each sword is made for that one perfect stroke, and for that stroke only. They crack upon a second blow. There's a brutal sort of beauty to it, really. But how do they hone such an edge? <laughs> Fine question. Why, they use a whetstone, of course. Of course. Whetstones. That's what rather. I thought, too. A whole array of them, ranging from the coarse to the fine. 10,000 licks with the sharpening stone, then 10,000 more. 
but it is the okay. final stone which lends the blade its legendary sharpness. A mineral quite foreign to this great realm of ours. And that is the key. The secret ingredient. Why, when it occurs to me that my little lecture is hardly equal to services rendered, take this, together with my regards, the very stone of which I spoke, mm. far rarer among collectors than even the blade itself, and a far more fitting payment. Thank, Thank you. you. Pardon the intrusion, my lordship. However, it is long past time we prepared ourselves to depart. So it is. I am locked in bitter competition with a rival collector of curiosities. I am one step ahead of the unscrupulous scoundrel, but he is hard at my heels. And there are many other collectors out there. Too many to count, but only one do I consider my nemesis. Lord Byron Rosfield. Hmm. And is a perennial thorn in my side. <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> Good thing we didn't well, say our real name. Radim, we mustn't dawdle. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> I think his lordship is rather taken with you, Master Wyvern. Thank you again for your assistance. <laughs> Coming, my lordship. I'll be right there. Uh, yep, never heard of him. Mm -mm. Who? <laughs> That's so silly. Trust Uncle Byron to yeah, find seriously. such an interesting rival. So now, silly. Let's see what Blackthorn makes of this whetstone, shall we? Blackthorn, you better be able to upgrade my sword. Um. Go back here. I love Byron. Him and Meg give you life in this game and it was suppressing me. Yeah, after so many town maskers, yeah. It's really nice to have them around. <gasps> Joshua? Mindless though they are, an Akashic horde large enough to besiege the free cities is not to be trifled with. We must proceed with caution. Okay. Whatever you say. Hi, Blackthorn. Sorry for the wait, but hopefully you'll agree it was worth it. You learned something about that sword then? I did better than that. I got you something to help you make a sword like that. Oh. I, a whetstone. Yes, but not one you'll find anywhere in Valisthea. No wonder I couldn't get a same finish on the grinding wheel. <laughs> One hit and all done, eh? Might not be so bad if all you ever fought were duels. <sighs> good luck on the battlefield. Your second opponent would be your last, no matter how good you were. Even so, is there some way it could be used to give the curse breakers an edge? I think so, yeah. With this whetstone and the right kind of steel. I could probably even make a twin of the blade that rattled me. Mm -hmm. But there'd be no replacing this little rock once I worn it down to a sliver. I reckon we get a dozen swords from it, if that. Swords that the curse breakers wouldn't know how to wield probably, and that would see them through a single fire piece. Nah, no point trying to copy that thing. Be about as much use as a wax anvil. But finishing our blades with a whetstone is fine. Now that's something to consider. And what's finer than fallen masonry, eh? Or more hard wearing for that matter. Just imagine it. Good Valisthean steel with an edge as sharp as any found in the Outer Isles. I won't make a copy now. Nah. I'll make something much better. Slay. I'm sure the curse breakers will be delighted. Just don't push yourself too hard. Don't you worry about me, sunshine. Sunshine. I've been day and night since I was half your age, <laughs> and I'll still be here when you're long gone. I hope so. Hey, thanks, Clive. I mean it. I owe you one, August too. 
It's good to know someone's looking out Hopefully for me. Hopefully Blackthorn is immortal. Yeah, he said that. He can never die. And I'll see that my debt to you's paid. First new blade I make's got your name on it. You come and find me when you've got the materials. All right. I will. Nice. Cool. We stop him whenever Joshua talks. Literally. <laughs> That's me. Excalibur recipe unlocked. What's all this then? Let's check that out. I can think uh I didn't think I could like any Jagu more than Estinian. And then here comes Dion! What do I owe Dion? Dion's the best. What do you want? Okay. Uh, okay. We can make a diamond sword. Should last you a good while. And then this. You can thank me later. Silken sash, let's make no that. Scratches, right? Not bad, if I do say so myself. Yeah, that should do you. Okay. That it? Fine. Nice. Um. Eye for an eye. Not to be outdone on balance. Let me go look at the hunt board really quick. Um. Hi, Barry. The cave scene? I don't know about a cave scene. But be careful with um, messages like that. Just because it's kind of like foreshadowing stuff and everything. Mm. Yeah, let's look at the hunt board. There are so many of these! Guys, what if just for funsies I was like, let's go try out an S rank. <laughs> oh shit! It doesn't even tell you the location. Maybe we could try out an A rank? If I have one here? The Magath Brothers. Quiet Sands Rosaria. A lone rowing boat has been sighted making land off the coast of Port Isolde. Its occupants wearing the garb and speaking the language of Iron Kingdom Crusaders. One can only assume that they come to take their vengeance upon Sid the Outlaw for destroying that which they hold most dear. We advise against all travel to the area lest they think to kill or capture our members in retaliation. Quiet Sands. I am scared. Yeah, let's go die for funsies. Tech girl, thank you for the 10 months. Been annoying you for this long. You're not annoying at all. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, and is it Eldrig? Hi. I've not seen Advent Children yet. I need to watch it. Um, yeah, I plan on watching it. I feel like I should watch it before Rebirth drops. I've been saying I need to watch it for like the past year though. Um, okay, we could also go to the Nine of Knives. Dalmechian traders are wont to say a prayer for unwary travelers journeying from Dalamil to Drake's Fang. For there lurks a bloodthirsty brigand, one who appears to be more interested in letting the blood of his quarry than he is in any gill or goods he might plunder from their caravans. If the road is to be made safe again, then at least one traveler passing through the place must not flee, but stand and fight. From D Dalamil to Drake's Fang. Maybe we'll go to him. But let's look at this reward stuff. Oh, Clive! Welcome to the Patron's Hello. Whisper. Hello. The Patron's Whisper. Does that mean someone else is taking care of our friends' donations? Oh no, that's hmm? still me. It's just Karen has a toll. Blackthorn has his hammer. I thought a new name might liven things up. Okay. I still catalog every item that arrives, 
In addition to setting aside those tokens of appreciation, the sender has specified are to be presented to you personally. Would you like to see if we have any? Sure. Come to claim your just desserts. Oh. oh, I see. Oh my gosh, I can get a lot of these. A light from the heavens? High cleric's medallion? Oh, ability points. I would like ability points, actually. But what does the medallion do? I'm gonna look this up. High Cleric's Medallion. Berserkering, my beloved? Ooh. Um. Oh, you don't have to pick. You get them all. Not like you. S oh. I see. I thought I like. I thought I spend points. Okay. Thank you for letting me know. Hi, Skamunculus. 16 is going great today. You earned this. You've just been You've doing. You've already got that one. A lot of Here side quests. A very you chill. Earned this. Here you are. All yours. You Talk are. of the tea house. You earned this. Here In my you are. Discord server. You earned this. Thank you. Best of luck out there, Sid. Clive. This is the side stuff. Quick the side quest stuff. Okay. Seen enough? Now, what do we just get? Zerkering temporarily increases attack pro Ooh, attack proficiency which e with each dodge? With each precision dodge. Oh, and then that increases healing potency. Okay. Yeah, we got some nice ability points. We have 3,000! 3, 3,553 ability points. I mean, so. Excuse me? Do you want to come sit down? No? Okay. Oh gosh, what do I want to spend? You can master impulse. Wait, should I get Giga Flare? We're gonna get Giga Flare. We're gonna try it out. Okay, I have 823 ability points now. <laughs> Holy shit! 3,000 to upgrade it? That's insanity. That's insanity. Hmm. Wicked Wheel, Rook's Gambit. Maybe we should upgrade Rook's Gambit. Well, mmm. <sighs> okay, let me look at my gear again. What could I put here? I'm gonna put. Oh, wait, no, we have to put Giga Flare on. Yeah, yeah, okay, we have to test this out. Usable set of flare when? <laughs> That'd be crazy! <laughs> um, when you precision dodge, your combos temporarily turn to limit break combos with a berserker ring. Okay, wait, I'm gonna try that. What? Perfect dodges will now give you limit break stats for a few seconds. That's kind of crazy. Okay, let's try it out. Now we're gonna go try and fight an A rank. Whatever they're called in A rank, um, hunt. We're gonna go try and find this guy. So we have to go to the Jaw in Delmechia. We're looking for the Nine of Knives. The Jaw in Delmechia.
Is mod online that you can run something by? Uh, are there any mods here that Looney could whisper? You also use it a lot, Chelsea. <laughs> Holsta, thank you. I feel like I'll need that. So it's somewhere here on the way to um, Dalamil. I'm going to guess it's like here or over here. So, let's get Ambrosia. Hey, we have Joshua with us. Thank you, Haley. <gasps> Is this him? Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> Okay, okay. Resonation, thank you for the tier one song. Hi! My blade yet hungers, and so do I. Come. Let us feast Let's go! Flesh. Your feasting oh, days are over. Oh, come on! Get up! Get up, Glyph! What's up? Oh, this is so slay. Oh my god, the poison. Get up, Clive. You... You can do all that. Yo, let's not do that. I needed that. I'd snap you like a twig. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. You know, maybe I should have gotten some potions before this. Thirty-two. Oh, 
I'm sorry, it sounds like he's saying I'll snap you like a twink. Like, what do you mean to say by that? Oh. <laughs> that was fun, but that also sounds scary. Ooh, and we got lots of kill for that. Ooh, level up? <laughs> he's talking to Joshua, please. Those who kill for sport deserve no better. That's, that's a nice fit, though. I also really like the... The knives that he has. God damn. <laughs> Is it, uh, Love Train? Welcome in. How are you? What made you want to play Final Fantasy 16? I mean, I played 7, 7 Remake, and 10. And so I was like, okay, I really enjoyed those. I feel like I should play 16 as well. And I've really been enjoying it. Um, okay. I think we're going to continue with the main story quest. I need to get some potions first. Um, and thank you for the follows, everyone. I'm a Final Fantasy gamer now. Yeah, Persona. Who? <laughs> we we will be going back to Persona. Did you see that? I like both Persona and Final Fantasy has just taken over my life, and it's a little worrying. Actually, <laughs> had um, a Titan skill mastered. Yeah, but not equipped. Yeah, if I wanted some points, I'll have to check my ability points again before we go. Hello. Ah, it's a dangerous world out there. It is. You're rubbing me blind, right. you know. You'll not find a better price than that. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Come again. Okay. Oh, don't. I'm not. I will, Karen. I will. Okay, we have 913. What do I have right now? I like Giga Flare. Um, I might replace Rook's Gambit, actually. I think we should put Raging Fists on Rook's Gambit, because they're both counter abilities. Yeah, we'll get rid of Rook's Gambit. Um, and then maybe... I will get some ability points back, so now we have a thousand ability points. Hi! You just keep saying hello, don't you? Have you considered playing Persona 2? I have, I just, I don't think it's in the cards right now just because Persona 2 is really hard to play because um, it's not on any like modern console. So yeah. Yeah, it does seem to be a better Rick's Gambit, that's what I think. Um, we have Gouge. We're also going to master this, so then we can replace Gouge. Wind up. Okay, let's see how this works. All the dive the way. I'm also going to save and then we can head to the next story quest. <gasps> Josh is in our party. Cute. Are you ready? Are you ready, bro? <laughs> so cute. Okay. Um, off to the Crosshead Echoes. Something poetic about putting a Titan skill on Gruda Icon. True. Yeah, Hugo and Benedicta. Man. I just love Deadly Embrace. It's so good.
Guys, I hope Gab's okay. We can use the ruins to cross the ravine. Sure. Assuming they will allow it, the echoes have a will of their own. <laughs> All right. Let's get off, Clive. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So nice having the Titan abilities back. I love that. Um, felt like Benedict like Sid more than Hugo. Oh, for sure. Yeah, Benedict was definitely just using Hugo. He's once again getting manipulated. <laughs> Enough of you, are there? <laughs> I didn't mean to do this, but okay. Oh. You're finished. So violent, I know. <laughs> Clive sure said, look, she don't like you, bro. Yeah. Ooh. Hi. Joshua, holy shit. Okay, I think this is it. I like this. I like the the skills that I have right now. Hmm. Still not sure about Mega Flare. I don't know. Hi, Kiava. Welcome in. How are you? Tell us about Yote, Joshua. Yeah. She's strong-willed, loyal, and deadly with a blade. <laughs> Much like Clive, but with better manners. <laughs> Goofy! Y'all are so silly! <laughs> Give me terrible deals here. Give me death. That would be amazing. His backstory and everything. Doing good, hope you're well. Thank you, I am doing well. You think Joshua and Yota are lovers? I don't know if they answer that in the game, so like don't answer that if you know the answer, but. I just, I love the companion, the like companionship with everything. Oh, are you okay? <laughs> You're injured. What happened here? Where are your comrades? 
Ether flood. Of course, it's the ether. Up ahead. It swallowed our camp while we slept. My own men did this. Oh, that sucks. Turned. Every last one of them. There's a village not far from here. Tabor. The people were kind to us. Do you think it's Yota? It's only a matter of I hope time. Goots too, Before Gav. They won't stand the chance. Mid, maybe Terence is with them. I don't know. We can't let those monsters reach the. <laughs> Ooh. Oko, you catch your breath. Thank you. Our encampment is up ahead. Just off the track. <laughs> they must not reach Tabor. Okay, stop talking. <gasps> Forgive me. Not Kupka. Lord Kupka. Rest well, soldier. Did she just die? Okay. He said the encampment was close. Lord Let's hope the Akashic are still there. Sad. Very sad. Another ether flood. They're everywhere now. We can't go around it. Then we'll just have to be careful. Oh, Lord. Not the chocobars. Come on. Come on. I'm so sorry, you poor chocobos. I'm going to giga flare you! Oh shit. Gone. Taken care of. One of your brothers in arms told me what happened and asked for help. Another survivor. Where is he? Tell me. Well, his wounds were too deep. <sighs> he was right to send you. Those things you slew are no longer my brothers. Tabor is safe thanks to you. Here. You've earned it. Didn't he say his leg was hurt and now he's standing on two feet? Very brave. <laughs> you seem familiar. Have we met? You well, must have me confused with someone else. Clive just walks away. Wait. That's Scott. What are you gonna do? Son of a whore. You're Sid. I was there in Kostnis when you killed my brothers. I was there in Rosalith when you killed my commander. My war with Hugo Kupka is over. I bear no ill will toward those who followed him. What of my ill will? 
Coward! Draw your steel. Lord Kupka shall be avenged! We literally just helped you. When your wounds have healed and your head has cooled, come and find me if you must. Though I hazard your life would be better spent in service of those who need it. Or have you forgotten your oath to the Republic? My oath? What would you know of oaths? I know how hard they are to keep. Which is why I'm giving you the chance to keep yours. No. <laughs> I won't be deceived. Lord Kupka told us of your crimes. You are an outlaw. A murderer, not some... <laughs> Some man like you or anyone else. I am nothing like you. But if you're not going to kill me, then go. Leave! Just know that I will find you, Sid. Someday. Okay. Goodbye. Jesus Christ. What if I just, like, talk to him? You will regret not killing me. Yeah, okay. <laughs> the voice acting is very good. Hiya, sir, welcome in. I hope you're doing well. V8 did say this is my moment. Clive is just so good again, though. God. I love everything about him. How far away do you have to go? Oh, all the way down there? Okay. Let's take out our chocobo again. Chocobo. Come on. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, it's the same thing, even if you say you don't wanna fight or you do wanna fight him. Illusion of choice. I think that makes sense. We're nearly there. Have you been to Tabor before? There are a few places I haven't. Oh. That'll do, girl. Welcome, travelers. We don't get many visitors here in Tabor. Hi. That's a cute chocobo you have. Where now, Joshua? There is a residence just inside the city gates. She awaits us within. Um, inside the city gates? A residence? Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. alive where's joshua my lord marquis it is an honor i am yote knight of the undying charged with the protection of his grace joshua rosfield keeper of the flame of the phoenix <sighs> took you long enough joshua it all makes sense now. Would you care to elaborate? The Undying are loyal servants to the Ducal Throne. Oh. Or more specifically, to its heir. They have served our family for generations. Albeit from the shadows. Since their inception, they have been tasked with the preservation and enactment of the rites of ancestral communion. After the events at Phoenix Gate, it was the Undying who delivered me to safety. And since the day I left Rosaria, Yote has been my constant companion and protector. Bless Without her, her sword, I would not have survived my journey across the realm. Rise, Lady Yote. You saved my brother. I owe you a debt I can never repay. I but did my duty. Come now. Tell us what you've discovered. Can they hug? Your grace. It is as you feared. 
the vessel we spied off the coast of the crystalline dominion on the night of her fall. It was the Einherjar. Beyond any doubt. The Black Galleon. Joshua, the Einherjar is the Royalist flagship. What business would they have in the Dominion? Uh, upon learning of Walud's involvement in recent events at Drake's Fang, I sensed the malign influence of Ultima, and bid Yote and the Undying look into the matter. We have reason to believe that the Black Galleon weighed anchor shortly after the fighting began, and set a course due south. For Canva. Then it is Waluda knights who besiege the cities. The Waluders. What is left of them? Yes. And the Black Galleon sails at but one man's behest. Barnabas Tharm. Mr. Barney! Oh, God. Oh. oh we got a meanwhile? <laughs> Free cities of Canver. But are we truly safe here in the Agora? The city guard have been paid, if that's what you're implying. All the more reason for them to run. Well, you are free to leave, Lord Minister. Markets abandoned, warehouses aflame, blackened hulls choking every port in the capital. Canver is ruined. Yeah. Well, Rome teeters on the brink of chaos, and all you can think about is commerce! <laughs> Forgive us! We were not aware Dalmechia now subsisted on charity! Not quite. How dare you! Ah! Ruh <laughs> Distinguished members of the council. <laughs> You must forgive His Majesty this intrusion. <laughs> what did you... What is the meaning of this? Not harbored. A trifle crowded. But I fear it will have to serve, my liege. Very well. My colleagues, do you not see? The King... He has come to save us from the Akashi. Um. He is a gift from the heavens, divine intervention, our very salvation. And of course, if it is compensation he requires, we would be most willing to negotiate a fair price for services rendered. Fools. Your ignorance <laughs> unbecomes you. Your Majesty, correct me if I'm wrong, but I would swear that the fiends washing the cobbles of Canva with the blood of her citizens wear the colors of Walud. <laughs> ha! So you do not deny it. Guards, fetter them and see You're our gonna die. to the dungeons! Oh my god. You can't take on Barney and Enough. Harvard at the same time. Oh, Barney. <laughs> Pathetic creatures. That you should imagine yourselves worthy of salvation. You. Yeah. The girl is still here, somewhere in the city. Her consciousness fair dripping with her late father's hubris. A consciousness to which Muthos is inextricably the bound girl? and inexorably drawn. See that he is made welcome. What? I'm sorry, literally every time Harvard appears, it's freaking hilarious. This, he's just like, he is peak manipulator. It's so entertaining. I just find it funny that Barney's like at his side too. I'm sorry, I can't stop calling him Barney. Anyway, yes, okay. your majesty. <laughs> Come, Muthos. 
Surely the prince's light cannot have sated you. Hmm. Barney, I feel like he's all, he's just all talk, okay? He's all talk. Yeah, he just killed a bunch of people, but... <laughs> So then, how long has Walud been under Ultima's control? How long indeed? Based on what we know of Barnabas' actions, I would guess some few years, mayhap more. Mayhap. <laughs> to what end? What does Ultima want? He wants you, the Clive. Show them. What is his end game, though? Taking over the world? <gasps> it's that figure. Phoenix Gate, Drake's breath, and now here. Wait. What is it? It is old, ancient, even. Nought's remains of the faith it represents, save what can be gleaned from the image itself. You know what? It kind of looks like Ifrit Risen. With the wings. None could tell me what the one in the apodotry meant, even the undying. But I believe it may be the key to discerning Ultima's purpose. That figure in the center, the one beneath whom the icons congregate, that I believe oh. to be Ultima. Oh. <laughs> is a god, okay. or at least godlike. His very existence beyond our ken. The icons, and by extension their dominance, are meant to be his subjects. And while some, like Barnabas, have accepted this role, others have rejected it. Like you, Clive. Which is rather inconvenient, as it appears he needs you most of all. And gods don't like to be disobeyed. No, I don't suppose they do. Clive, may I tell Yote of the lake? By all means. Yote, I will be accompanying my brother to the free cities. Whilst we are afield, I would have you watch over those Clive has made his wards. Omiya lost Delan to his sag Ilith. Though well concealed, the hideaway lacks trained fighters to defend its occupants should they be discovered. But it is my duty to... As it has ever been my brother's duty, remember. If... if that is your wish, your grace. But please be safe. If aught were to befall you, I... You have my word. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Okay. That's just really cute. <laughs> just how you missed it. He kissed her head. Guys, there are, I have tears falling from my eyes. Josh was too much. I love those two together. Yeah, Joshua can Joshua can kiss Yota on the forehead. Clive can barely hold Jill's hand. I know you've been through a lot, Clive, but come on. Okay. Um. <laughs> All right, let's continue. <laughs> Farewell, my lord, my lady. We are in your debt, Yote. Bless her soul! 
class like damn josh was like <laughs> Oh, I feel for her. Let's find our friends. <laughs> uh. So he said he thinks that's Ultima, right? It's plain she cares for you very deeply. And I her, which is why I had to let her go. Is he crying? <laughs> welcome. I love welcome. Joshua. <laughs> Okay, um, I guess we can get another high potion. Of course. We can get, yeah, let's get this. A fine choice. Nice. Also, thanks for the follows, everyone. Welcome in. Take care. Falling on the floor right now. <laughs> Too cute. Cyril, how fares the search? Well, your grace, Cyril? my report shall be with you ere long. Ah, yes. Yote is otherwise engaged at my behest. And the duty of wardenship? Fulfilled. For as you see, I've been reunited with my first shield. <laughs> I am Cyril. Knight of the Undying and bearer of the Burning Quill. Charged with chronicling the mortal deeds of his grace, Joshua Rosfield. Keeper of the Flame of the Phoenix and rightful Archduke of Rosaria. I entrusted Cyril here with overseeing the investigation into Ultima's Joshua origins. just knows everyone. Findings from his brothers and sisters afield are delivered here to be collated and catalogued. Just how many Undying are there? Not nearly enough, milady. Yet we are glad to give our all in service to the Phoenix. Such is, and has ever been, our creed. I see. You have your associates, I have mine. But you may now think of them as ours. That won't be a problem, will it? The Phoenix is our sun, and we but the shadows that quicken in his radiance. It is from the darkness that we serve, both him and now you. Pray accept this token. Another seal. We got the phoenix down. For as long as you bear it, members of our order will reveal themselves unto you. If there is nothing further. No, you are dismissed. Your grace. Wow. It's a canva then. We'll talk about this later. <laughs> Cyril like... seemed very. Um... You certainly keep strange bedfellows, Joshua. <laughs> he has no response to that. It's so funny. Oh my god. He yeah, he really is such a big brother. Joshua has spent his whole life trying to figure out what the heck's been happening. Uh, Another Lord undying? Rosfield. I'm afraid I cannot stay to talk. I must leave to collect the reports of our spies in the field. Wow. Okay, wait. I think we can read about the undying here. A secretive order who serve... A secretive order who served the lords of Rosaria from the shadows. They revered the mighty Phoenix and its dominant, and once presided over the rites of ancestral communion at Phoenix Gate. Few outside the order know of its existence, even among the highest-ranking members of Rosarian nobility. 
And to this very day, with Rosaria reduced to a mere imperial province, they continue to serve the rightful keeper of the flame, His Grace Joshua Rossfield. It's so crazy how after all these years they're still serving him. Cyril, a senior member of the Undying known as the Bearer of the Burning Quill, who coordinates his order's research into Ultima from their headquarters in the Delmechian village of Tabor. Tabor? Tabor? At his liege Lord Joshua's command, he lends his and his order's strength to Clive. Man. So this is where the Undying have been taking up camp this whole time. It's kind of wild. There are horrible beasts down that way. Ashen terrors who will kill you as soon as look at you. This girl. Guy gives you revives. Cyril. Cyril does. Maybe it's because he he wears a cloak with a hood. No. Now, what's going on here? Then let us be rid of them. Hit me. Come on. Come on. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, we're not doing that. Easy. Okay. Cops are okay, I guess. Joshua Rossi. You know what? If it's Joshua, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> Main character has to suffer. Yes, we love them even more. True. Hey. Jesus Christ. Trust anything Joshua says. <laughs> yeah. uh, would you join Joshua's cult? Clive, smoke. Is the city fallen? Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm scared. I'm scared. Uh oh. men are still holding their own then do we have any idea where Gav and the others might be there's a warehouse near the docks where we agreed to meet if there was any trouble we should hurry I'm a bit nervous hmm I love how they give us Gav's ATL <laughs> Uh. Okay, there we are. The Gilded Path. Free cities of Canver. Oh god. You guys, I want to keep going. I really do. I feel like I need to pace myself though. Okay. <laughs> I'm 
feel like I could play this game for hours. Were it not for the Undying's aid, I would be long dead. <laughs> Grant them your trust, and they will repay you with their loyalty. Uh... <laughs> okay, let me save here. We need to stop. We need to stop, you guys. I know, I know I've already played this game for hours. <laughs> <laughs> I usually only stream for four hours too. And it's already three. <laughs> okay, actually, you know what? You know, we can keep going. I can stream longer today because tomorrow I won't be able to stream long. Because I have to watch Jujutsu Kaisen tomorrow. After stream. So we, we can keep going, alright? <laughs> we did stream over six hours on Monday. It was almost seven hours. Still alive, are ya? <laughs> I know, I'm trying to down. rationalize. I'm trying to rationalize my decisions here. <laughs> oh, we already have everything that we need. What's this? Last elixir? <gasps> Whoa, 20,000? It's kind of crazy. Finished, are ya? Okay. Make sure you stretch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, this does not look good. Oh! Okay, we're at the warehouse. Sounds like thunder. Mid. You're late. <laughs> We're starting okay. to think it stumbled off a cliff. I seem to recall that was you, Gav. Oh, Byron's here too. Good to see you. Any trouble on the road? Nothing we couldn't handle. I knew you'd come. Is that who I think it is? Yes. Uh, allow me to introduce my brother, Joshua. Clive's told me all about you. How are even listening most of the time? <laughs> Name's Middadol. But everyone calls me Mid. My lady. Hey! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Joshua! What the hell? Hi, Barry! Oh my god, wait, yes! My he hasn't boy. seen Joshua! Uncle so Byron. long! <laughs> oh. It's really you! I never thought I'd see the day! <laughs> mm. Sweetie pies. So these Akashic are being controlled? That's what it looked like. Empty eyes, eerie blue glow. No doubt they were turned, but silent as monks, every last one of them. Your man here speaks true, Clive. We saw more than a few in the city. They moved in ranks with a purpose, and not of their own. Ultima's doing. Perhaps. What of the city? The people? <sighs> Dead, mostly. Mostly, but not all. A handful managed to lock themselves in their villas before the Horde arrived. Some in the Merchant's District to the west, and a few of us on the far bank. Hmm. If the Akashic stumble across either hiding place, a few bolted doors won't hold them for long. We need to find them. And quickly. What do you propose? We split into two parties. I don't want to split. I will make for the merchant's district, while you look to those across the river. I don't want to split. Mind keeping an eye on my brother? Oh. Not at all. <gasps> Jill we and find Joshua. find the villa and try the entrance. Understood. And what of us? Mid, is she fit to sail? The ship? Uh, 
The Mithril engine could probably do with a few more tweaks. Then you better work fast. Even if we do reach the survivors in time, they'll never make it to the hideaway on foot. You leave that to me. See that Mid doesn't get herself into trouble, would you? Is Gab I I coming with me? That. I'll keep it's him Clyde. safe. Looks like oh. you stuck with me, Byron. That's Lord Rossfield, you little gutter snipe. <laughs> Shall we then? And you keep Clive safe. Okay, Clive and Torgal, Jill and Nika. Joshua. Both of you. You too. Mm. I hope they're safe. Jesus Christ. Evenfall? Evenfall? Damn. Alright, let me pause here. As soon as Yota leaves his side, stop! Oh god. <laughs> Imagine rather being united with family you thought was dead. Yeah, twice? Twice. Incredible. Miss 100% of the shots you don't take? So, so true, chicken. And hi, Chris. Yeah, Mid is very sassy. I love her. Alright, Toggle. Let's find those survivors. Alright. Um. They don't stand a chance against those things. Oh god. We gotta go! Oh my gosh! I think we might have been a little bit too late. They've been routed. Come on. Come on. Okay. Of course they are. Whoa. Whoa. Holy shit. Nice try. We got it, Clive. <laughs> yeah, we were too late. Goddamn. The city's pretty too. Look at all this. Uh, the tiles, beautiful. Yeah, then the enemy teleports. It makes me upset. Cause I just miss all the shots then. Hello. Oh, 
Your player's crazy. Oh god, come on. place looks in this game yeah it's very beautiful the environments they did great with it does anyone know how long it took them to make this game when did they start working on it twenty fifteen okay so like eight years okay Uh oh. Oh my god! That's the most I've done so far. That was fun. Um, where to you next? Up here? Uh, down here? Wait, did I come from that way? Torgo, where do we go? I was going the complete opposite direction. So we're working on it since the Heaven's Ward patch. Oh, 2015, 2016, okay. That's sad. There's a good boy. Stop that. Hey, 
There we go. I couldn't tell who was casting bravery on them. Jesus Christ. Ian, hello! I think the title is implied by you playing this game. What's my title again? Is it... <laughs> I don't even know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Emotionally damaged, yes. <laughs> Ian, how are you? Uh, feel grateful for this Twitch community, Elon, because don't know I would ever thought to pick up Persona 5 or 7. Oh, gee! Even though you love those kinds of games. Hey, it makes me so happy to hear. Honestly, though, like, if I that sounded big. didn't stream, I don't know if I would must be busy. enjoy or, like, play these games, because... I always thought I wouldn't like story games for some reason, but here I am, and now these are like my favorite types of games. that potion. Be survivors inside. <laughs> I was trying so hard to get those dodges with the uh, Bahamut's wings. Hi, Bogisan and Shirob. Hello. Thank you for the follows, everyone. By the way. Um. 
Ooh, you're more of a Fire Emblem kind of guy. I tried playing Fire Emblem, but I never really got into it. We'll put a muster on the contact lens, Clay? That worries me. Story games are kind of relaxing, helps keep your mind off things like Final Fantasy, Persona, yeah, and Spider-Man, yeah. I just, for some reason, I never thought that story games would be like worth my time, whereas like the story games I've played, they've had, they're like some of my favorite pieces of media and fiction ever. Where are they? Uh oh, what's this? Uh oh. Hello. This ultimate reach extend this far. What the hell is going on here? You've caused quite the commotion. <laughs> but then I would expect no less from you, Muthos. <laughs> no way! You again. I don't believe we've been introduced. <laughs> you were in my family's crypt. <laughs> and now you're here. With an army of Akashic Yeah, thrills. who are you? Who are you, <laughs> sir? Is Lord Rossfield? They are men. Like you and me. Why are you looking good with the uh, like? Albeit one. The armor, though. Burdened by the wills that drive our kind to madness. They are pure. They are divine. What? And they are all that remains in this once raucous city. Mm. You pay for what you've done. As you wish. I confess I have been very much looking forward to this. Pardon me this indulgence, your majesty. The vessel shall not be spoiled. I am Sleipnir of House Harbor. <laughs> Sleipnir? And you will yield! You know what? Slay. Slay, Harbord, okay? Or not. Okay, wait, I need to pause. I need to, like, prepare for this. <laughs> oh, God. How much does he spend on his hairstylist? I don't know, but his hair is always looking good. God. <sighs> it's so funny. He's like, I pardon my indulgence, sir. Like, he just wants to indulge in a fight with me. It reminds me of someone from another video game. Anyway. As long as you don't hold back. Oh, I will hold back, okay? Oh, bitch! 
get down here. <laughs> oh, come on. Silly. You're silly, mister. I should have done this. Where is he? Oh, oh trick. Fuck. How does he just disappear like that? You will forgive me if my performance seems uninspired. It is just that I expected so much more from our chosen one. Perhaps this will kindle your flame? What now? A gift from my liege lord's armory. Gungnir. Gungnir? Okay, Watch that's closely, very cool. Um. Yeah. Yes! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Oh, okay, okay. Get him, Toggle, let's go! Ouch, okay, okay, that hurts. Where'd he go? Oh my 
my god, this is too easy. <laughs> Tina! Hi, Tina! Thank you for the raid! Tina, how was your stream? What were you doing? Were you doing more art today or were you playing Zelda? Let me know. I made a wonderful stream. Everyone go follow Tina. I love Tina so much. <sighs> yeah, meter is everywhere. The Mortal Tears Kingdom, nice. I've had a good time. Yeah, everyone say hi to Tina. Tina's lovely. He did pull out of the stops. I wasn't, I like, I should have been more careful. I think I was getting greedy. Okay, but let's retry this. <sighs> Harvard's so funny. <laughs> wow. I thought they were gonna... I thought he was gonna have less health, but it's okay. again. Shit. 
The reason I kept dying is because I just wanted to fight him over and over again. That's why. <laughs> also, Scott Punkai, thank you for grabbing your seat. <laughs> That's fun. The vessel is strong. My leash. Is he really dead? <laughs> Oh my god. I'm kind of sad about that. Clive! <gasps> Joshua! You're alright. As are you, I see. <laughs> Is he really dead? Yeah, yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, but oh. we couldn't save them. It was over before we arrived. Well, you did what you could. <sighs> I fear we were all too late. Yeah. What's wrong? Oh, he recognizes him, doesn't he? Nothing. I hope. Mm. <sighs> it's Odin! It's Barney! Found. The only person who could do that is Barney. Leaving so soon, Mythos? It's the king. Indeed. You may kneel before Barnabas Tharm. Hell no! Warden of Ash and King of Walud. Oh, 
interesting Back. music. with one arm behind his back. Wild and impetuous. I expected more of the boy who bested my lord commander. Yet I see why my master covets you so. The power within you, Mythos. The potential. Where did Harvard's body go? Oh god. Stop calling me Muthos. But Muthos is everything. The cornerstone of all creation. The Lord's vessel. Your purpose. My purpose? To surrender my mind and body to that thing. No, your majesty. My purpose is my own. I made a promise to my friends, to my people. And nothing is going to stand in my way. Okay, Slayer. You would allow this delusion of free will to bar your path delusion to greatness? Delusion of free will. Truly, hmm. your volition is a cancer. One that must be excised. The Odin sword. Try it. Oh, shit. Careful. Chill. Oh, my God, Oi. he's so bloody. Oi. This way, hurry. beyond reckoning and they use it as a crutch such a waste <laughs> now why would they cut it off there be all right the phoenix can mend flesh but the spirit must recover on its own i'm afraid the rest is up to him this place is remarkable outfitting it must have been no small feat but why go to such trouble that beauty's belly is filled with wonders the world ain't ready for if the guilds caught wind of what we we're up to they'd all want a piece all right. And how is he? 
but where's Jill? <laughs> Do not blame yourself. He was barely breathing when you brought him here. We would have lost him if it were not for you. Mm. No. Barnabas may have severed nigh every sinew in my brother's body. But he made certain the wounds were not fatal. Nigh every sinew? <sighs> Allow me, your lordship. Don't know what I was thinking, putting you to the trouble like that. <sighs> Is no trouble carrying comestibles to my ailing nephew. I know, but you've already done so much for us. Pouring your gill into the hideway and now the ship. I don't want to take the piss. You risked your life. And for what? Some gill you hardly know. Why'd you do it? You got mad or something? It's too kind. Mm. I wouldn't go that far. Clive! You're awake, my boy. Oh. <laughs> what I want to do is help. And the world won't save itself. It was Sid. Your father. Who taught me that? Sounds like him. Don't you dare do that again. <laughs> what of the Royalists? Fucked off, the lot of them. Along with the Galleon. With the King on board, no doubt. The Iron Hay, I wouldn't say without him. <sighs> Clive. Jill didn't come back. What do you mean? She kept the king busy while the others dragged you out. Clive's gonna lose it. It's all right, Mid. Jill is fine. The ether of her icon endures. And as long as it does, we can be certain she <sighs> We must pursue the Black Galleon. I love how they can Jill sense be with it. The king. I'm sure of it. My God. Well, good luck catching him, because my ship's going nowhere. It's the Mithril engine. She's got a kick like a wild chocobo and a mind to tear the hull in half. But do you have an idea? Uh, well, of course I do. My dad has seen this coming a league off. If I had his old writings. If you had his old writings, you'd be sitting under a fuckload of rubble. The ones Otto didn't save anyway. I suppose he might still have a few pages in his stores. Go talk to Otto again. We'll have to hope it's enough. Do what you can to ready the ship. I'll speak with Otto. In your condition, you really are mad. <laughs> Perhaps. But the world really won't save itself. Clive! Clive, you do too much! This man. This man! God. You know what? A song of hope. Maybe Barney what? was a bit, um... Gav said that Otto might know something. <laughs> Maybe I underestimated Barney. <laughs> That was kind of embarrassing. It was embarrassing. Um, seeing Clive try to fight him like that. Okay, I'm not gonna talk to Otto right now. Let me just go into infirmary for a second. Okay, and then I wanna go talk to Harpocrates to see if anything's changed. Uh, where's Taria? Oh. Where the hell's Dion? Hello? Wait, 
No, that's not Dion. This is the uh, engineer guy. Um. What's going on? What'd you say earlier? All talk. Yeah, I did say that. I said he was all talk. Oh, that blasted book. Dion, Dion, where are you? Hatter? Ah, <gasps> gifting a sub to Clive Rossfield? <laughs> Hatter, thank you so much for that. <laughs> oh my god, also thanks for the follows everyone. Welcome in May, I hope you're doing great. Not me going into my chambers, like what if he's in here? <laughs> Where the hell is he? No Dion, no Jill. Yeah, what's the world come to? My god. You can play just a little longer. It, it's not even four if yet. It's you see, okay, it's play. not even four. <laughs> Let me go talk to Harpocrates. Let me help. I know my letters. Uh, most of good morrow to you, my friend. Hello. I don't believe you've read this particular chapter before. If you have a question for me, I should be happy um, to answer it. Slipnir? Lord Commander of the... Okay, we know that. Bested by Clive Rossfield after he and his master slaughter the guildmasters and republican ministers in the Canvarian Agora. It doesn't say death. So... All right, Barney, you're kind of crazy and you kind of scare me. I thought you weren't going to be that powerful, but I guess you are. Okay, the Free Cities of Canver, a federation of neighboring independent city-states located in the southeastern part of the continent of Storm. While originally part of Delmechia, the cities achieved their independence in the year 857. Canver lacks an army of its own and relies instead on a city guarded, a city guard formed by mercenaries hired by its merchants and tradespeople. Unfortunately, the city guard and indeed the city itself were decimated in an attack by Akashic. Akashic? I still don't know how to pronounce that. Um, Waluda troops in 878. Having lost its political leaders and the bulk of its citizens, citizenry, the free cities ceased at that point to be a nation in any meaningful sense. That sucks. Hi, Lonesome Unit. Welcome in. I hope you're doing well. Akashic. Yes, Akashic. Okay. I always say Akashic. Lannister is not even five. No, stop. <sighs> the Ironworks, a fully functioning shipyard nestled within the hollow of a sea grotto on the outskirts of Canver. The high cliffs and violent tides which surround it effectively concealing the interior from prying eyes. It is here that Mid, along with other allies from the hideaway, strives in secret to finish work on the Enterprise, a revolutionary high-speed sea vessel. Did you learn everything you needed? You know what would be really nice? I know they give you like the relevant topics thing. I wish there was also an option for like... New updates. You know? Like most recent updates to the ATL. Um... 
Hi, Trev again. Yeah, I'm still going. I can't stop. I <laughs> said it was an army. It's so bad. Okay, we're just gonna speak to Otto. God. But if you're here, where the hell is everyone else? Don't tell me. They're all right. Mm. But it's a long story. I miss Joshua already. What do you think we should do, Otto? You lot don't do things by halves, do you? Well, at least everyone's still breathing. Now, as for these writings, I'm sorry to say, Clive, but if you had those, you'd be... Sitting under a pile of rubble, I know. But we were able to save a few bits and pieces from the ruins, most of which ended up being used to build this place. The more personal items we gave to the next of kin. In the case of Sid's things, that would have been mid. Then I'll check the workshop. Like father, like daughter. Oh my gosh. Okay, but where the hell's Dion? Like... Can you tell me, Vivian? <sighs> You're gonna catch up to me? Trev, how far along are you? I'm literally checking every room. It says here that once turned. Hopefully with Terrence, but where's Terrence? Oh wait. Do you have anything new to say? Master Sid, have you seen His Highness the Prince? We were to dine together, or so I was going to suggest, before he vanished. Are you talking about this? Dion or Joshua? I suppose now I'll just have to ask the Bard. <sighs> I, yeah, I think she did try to go on a date with Dion. Does she if know? The Lazarus had gone, then. Does she know? Hi, Joshy Bear. Um, first game that's had a Joshua in it. It was strange to hear your name with uh, UA so much. Oh, yeah, yeah, and in the game, too. Um. What do we have here? Oh. Sid's pipes. Sid's pipes. Something tells me Mid won't be needing these. <laughs> this looks like it's from Sid's old diary. Ooh. I'll already have read it. I'd better keep looking. I love that even though Sid is gone, his presence is still like so prominent in this game. I Literally at every turn. I wonder if it was Mids. It's cute. What's this tucked inside it? Oh, Middle. I know you like your riddles, so I reckon you'll appreciate this one. Of all my inventions, this one's the best. And so when choosing its place of rest, I recalled your opus, Daughter Dearest. And now it sleeps there in the first. I'm going to have to work on that last rhyme. Good luck, Sid. Sid's best invention. That sounds promising. So Sid hid something in Mid's first opus. What would that be? Where? Oh, we have to go to Otto again? Right now. Man. <laughs> so relevant to the plot as well? Yeah, for sure. Definitely your favorite Sid, yeah. Wait, Trev, how many Final Fantasy games have you played? Well, did you find anything? Possibly. You wouldn't happen to know what Mid's first opus was. Opus. opus. That's how you say that it. That girl's as tone deaf as a banshee. 
Unless you mean the orchestrion. She couldn't have been more than, what, 11, 12, when she cobbled that thing together? She made that? She surprised us all. Not least her dad. You should have seen how proud he was of the little wow. scamp. What's that battered old box have to do with anything? I think Sid may have hidden something inside it. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. Those two and their bloody treasure hunts. Half the things in the hideaway were hidden one time or another. Oh my god. How are we supposed to do our duty? <laughs> Ethan, hello. Yeah, we're still going. You played all the mainline ones. Except one. Oh my god, I didn't know that. That is crazy. Will you ever play one? Who's that? I didn't break it. Well, I didn't break it. What didn't you break? Uh oh. Nothing. We didn't break nothing. We <laughs> definitely didn't break the orchestron. What's wrong with it? It's broken. Except when it isn't. See? And you had nothing to do with this. Nope. Nothing. I'm sure. We just wanted to listen to all the songs at once. So we press all the buttons. Like this. See? They're so silly. All too well. All right, out of the way. Is Clive a Swifty? <laughs> <laughs> you have to inspect this? Okay. Uh, Zafira, thank you so much for the 10 months. And thank you for using your prime. There's something caught on one of the gears. Did you break it? No, you Did guys you broke it? it. No, I mean, yes, yes. <laughs> There. Oh, how about now? You fixed it. Sid fixed it. He more than fixed it. Yeah, new music. Huh. Never heard this one before. They started playing when I removed this. Whatever it is. Whoa. Well, don't look at me. I can tell you it's important, though. Sid showed it to me once and said as much. Said it was the stuff dreams were made of. <sighs> Let's just hope it's the stuff ships are made of as well. Indeed. Let's see if we can make some dreams come true. Like father, like daughter. I love it. I love that Sid's theme started playing. I think that's Sid's theme, anyway. Or like the old hideaway theme, at least. Just the two I was looking for. Hi, hi. Who's a patient? Actually, yes. The Grand Prince just left. Why? Dion left. Why? Unless you've another word for stood up and walked off. Yes, left. He could have gone far. He did have the decency to leave a message with Obelisk before commandeering one of his dinghies. Should we go after him? No. We're not the Prince's keepers. <laughs> He's free to do as he sees fit. But... I'd rather he but... did so in bed. His wounds are nowhere near healed. Much like yours, I suspect. Otto told me what happened in Canver. What is it with this realm's princes and their aversion to rest? I don't know. Uh, ask me when I get back. Clive! Though I may be sometime. Then at least try to stay safe. <sighs> and if that fails, try to stay alive, eh? Every moment 
tight waist here, the we further got... the flagship sails. I have to get back. We got the final piece. Wow. Dion's really gone? That's so rude. Yeah, imagine being Tari in this story. I'd be so upset. You got Joshua that doesn't rest, Dion doesn't rest, Clive does not rest. All right, Clive. Blackthorn told me you helped him out again. Tough for that. <laughs> Speaking of which, I'm actually a bit, um... Worried about him. Again? And you want my advice. Afraid so. It's a bit of a funny one, this, but... I saved this posh knob while I was out on a mission, and he gave me this flashy ring to say thank you. <gasps> so, obviously, a I ring. show it to Blackthorn, thinking he'll be impressed, only for him to go white as a sheet and quiet as a curl instead. Try as I might, I can't for the life of me work out what could have got him upset like that. And seeing as how Blackthorn opens up when you're around, I thought maybe... I'll speak to, I'd speak him. to him. again. Well, I suppose there's no point leaving him to stew. Cheers, Clive. <laughs> I'll be sure to pay him a visit as soon as I or have a Blackthorn. moment. Blackthorn. All right, Man. I'll meet you by the forge then. You come along when you're ready. Also, hi, Expo. Welcome in. Nice. Blackthorn jealous? Perhaps. Do you think Asta says anything different now that we know that Dion left? Master Sid. No. Have you seen His Highness the Prince? Goodbye. You need help again? It'll all be over soon. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to laugh at that, but damn. <laughs> Sorry, he's literally dying. Not okay. <laughs> oh Lord, I need your help, Hippocrates. <sighs> Let me help. I know my letters. Uh, I was wondering when next you'd visit. Yeah. I have compiled some new entries. If you would like to see them. You wish to study the tomes? I just want to see if Dion's updated. 